Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Bargain Bin, a show about speedrunning games all under $20. I'm your host, Midnight Vesper, and here's how this works. For more current slash digital games, we'll be using digital stores like Steam, GOG, Itch.io, Ubisoft, etc. to look at the list slash MSRP price. For retro games, we'll be using a plethora of kind of retro pricing sites to look at the loose or or say or loose price of the game. I have words. <laughs> we do not count any sales or discounts as they vary from time of purchase. Do not forget that Games Done Quick, Summer Games Done Quick is coming up here in just a couple of weeks. It's going to be July, June, yeah, sorry, June 26th through July 3rd. Prize submissions are now open. You can go to gamesonquick.com for more information. And of course, our highlights channel is a channel that features highlights of our GDQ hotfix shows. Use the exclamation mark highlights channel for command to learn more about our highlights. And for this show, I figured since the last time we had a music game with Songbird Symphony, I thought it was a good idea to bring, well, a bard to this episode. So I brought along Final Fantasy IV and our good friend RPG Chick to showcase this amazing run. How are you doing today? I am doing okay. And not only do we have a bard, but I hear they're kind of spoony. I hear that too. There's no spoons here. None whatsoever. <laughs> And uh, I'll be joined by my amazing commentary, Natara. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have a lot to tell you about this run as we go along, but I think we can get this started, yeah? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. You ready to go? All right, I'm going to count us down. Let's do three, two, one. Ooh, let's go. Let's go. It's time to be a dark knight doing nothing but good things. Yeah. Totally, all Dark Knights are totally good people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Especially the Cecil. So, um, welcome to Final Fantasy IV. Uh, you're probably familiar with this game. Uh, it came out as Final Fantasy II US on the Super Nintendo uh, back in the 90s. But uh, thankfully, we got a beautiful remaster of it in uh, very recently, and uh, it is wonderful. And new games mean new speedruns. So if you're familiar with the Super Nintendo run at all, uh, you're going to notice there's a lot different with this run. Uh, the glitches are non-existent in this version. Um, we have new inventory items. Things are just generally changed. So uh, we're going to explain as we're going along. Uh, we'll try and summarize the story a bit too. And uh, hopefully we have a good time with no spoons allowed. All <laughs> spoons are banned. If you've ever seen the very rare PSP run of FF4, it is a little bit more akin to that than it is to the SNES version. Um, but Rydia, unfortunately, is not gonna be the heroine of our tale. Aww. No, unfortunately not. Um, yeah, the PSP is another really good run. Yeah, but this one, so here we are, we are Cecil, we are the leader of the uh, Red Baron, not the Red Baron, the Red Wings. We are here, we've just stolen a crystal from uh, the town of Nasidia, and they're pretty mad at us. They are not fans of us whatsoever, um, but we're on our way home, and the crew is kind of like, hey, hey, did we do a good thing here? And Cecil's like, don't worry, we're doing this for our king. There could nothing be nothing wrong. It's all for the might of Baron, and we're good people. Don't worry about it. So we're not worrying about it. So one of the nice things about this particular uh, version of the game is you get all of the lovely, amazing JP items that were not in the US version of the SNES version. They're so good. They're, um, they're wonderful, and we are definitely going to make use of some of them as we go through this run. Um, additionally, again, talking kind of more along the PSP version line, we're going to be manipulating auto battle a lot during this run, too. Yeah, it makes things a lot faster uh, because the fights just, it's not just that they enter the commands for you, the actual speed of the fights is faster when you're using auto battle. So we're going to make use of that gratuitously, where we fight things. Of course, like most RPG speedrunning, we're going to be fighting as little as possible because that's no fun. Uh, we want to get through with speed. So we'll fight our necessary encounters and uh, go from there. I hope you're enjoying this uh, wonderful intro. It goes on for at least another few more minutes because <laughs> RPGs. Yeah. At least you get a chance to listen to the beautiful soundtrack. The remake soundtrack is oh, so good. Yes, it they is amazing. 
such a great job on all of these. And how and, crisp and clear it looks. Yeah, Ooh. I apologize. I don't have the technical know-how because I'm old to switch the fonts, but uh, you can still enjoy it anyway. <laughs> Yeah, um, one of the problems that some folks have had with the Pixel Remasters is the default English font uh, makes things a little close together. So some folks have problems reading it or don't find it as easy to read. So uh, one of the tricks that have been discovered really easy to do is you can actually change it. So the game is using the Japanese font for the English version. So it's still English characters, but it spaces them out in a Unicode in the same way that the Japanese version does, uh, making it much easier to read. And um, thanks to uh, discussions and votes within the speedrunning community for at least Final Fantasy IV, but I think most of the Pixel remasters, you are allowed to swap to that Japanese font, even though it's technically a mod, because it's not the default way it comes in this version. It's um, also that... technically a little bit slower than this mm -hmm. this font, so it's not as if you're gaining any kind of big advantage. Yeah, exactly. So that was one of the reasons it finally went down, because at the end of the day, you're not gaining time. If anything, you're losing time. But. Um, if you like the font better and it makes it easier for you to play, then you should do that. So, uh, but yes, uh, RPG Chick has not changed that, so you're seeing the uh, default uh, North American font. Yep, and now we have uh, romantic turmoils going on. So many romantic turmoils. I do enjoy how it went from day to night and the clock never moved. <laughs> no, it is currently three o'clock. AM, PM? Who knows? Who That's knows? why we need military time in these games. I mean, mm -hmm. come on. <laughs> also, Cecil's sleeping in his armor. Like, for some of these characters, it wouldn't seem like such a big deal to sleep in what they're just wearing every day. Like, Rosa, she looks like she'd be pretty cozy. But all of that Dark Knight armor? But uh, Cecil does Cecil and, uh, <laughs> 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 and just goes right in. So, uh... But that's okay. He's going to meet his fellow uh, lots of armor wearing Buddy Kane, and we are off for an adventure where there will be no problems. Everything will go exactly as planned. And um, we get to listen to this amazing track, which is one of my favorite tracks. It's so weird seeing the text. This font, though, it's a little it, awkward. It, <laughs> yeah. At least we don't. Uh, at least we don't get some of the weird translations here. Because I remember the in the original one. What was it? the last phrase? Is why do the monsters keep increasing? That's not the last phrase, but that's there. Oh, and excuse you, that is a classic <laughs> phrase. <laughs> there are years of lore baked into that. <laughs> the Final Fantasy IV community has so many memes about that line. It's just a uh, mwah. But yeah, no, it's a. Uh, the translation definitely has fixed a lot of things, but it's it's really good here. You still yeah, can speed it up though. Once upon a time, it used to be about asking who still didn't have sub two in uh, no CW, no credits warp category for the SNES version. Yeah. Now it's who doesn't have sub three, and it's B. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh no! How could you do that to us? <laughs> That's okay. More monsters means we get to keep playing. Yes, yes, it does. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And listen to the just the soundtrack. That is yeah. something that is quite the staple, especially in the pixel remasters from all the players, just the music. Yeah, they, they're just really so well done. So if anyone hasn't played any of the pixel remasters, highly recommend it. I'm currently playing Final Fantasy II for the first time Ooh. and enjoying it way more than I expected. Final Fantasy, the, the pixel remaster for Final Fantasy 2 was really nicely done, I think. Oh, I'm enjoying it. Okay, so here we go. Now fresh with those sweet, sweet diagonals, which we did not have originally. And I got to say, as a speedrunner of the original, the Super Nintendo version, uh, always throws me off a little bit. But <laughs> 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 they're so useful, though. 
So it is still, even in this version, uh, still way faster to get that chocobo because on world maps, you don't have the in-game dash. So uh, plus there's no encounters when you have that. So uh, one of the things you're gonna notice for this run is uh, RPG Chick is going to be swapping, like turning on quick fire, uh, turning off the auto battle and turning it back on. Um, it is easier and, a, and possible to run without it on. And um, as soon as you're set though, menus clear faster, the actual battle clears faster. So uh, yeah, we wanna be an auto battle as soon as possible. And speaking of which, it is time for our first boss fight. This is the Mist Dragon. And uh, this fight was originally designed to uh, kind of teach us about the active time battle system as Final Fantasy IV is the first game to use it. So um, it, the midway through the fight, the dragon is going to turn into a mist form. So in this version, uh, with the auto battle, you, whatever you set your first move to be for each character, you set it and forget it. You put it on auto battle and they will continue until you tell them to stop, which is actually fairly key in this uh, fight because otherwise they'll keep uh, attempting to punch the mist dragon. So um, turned it off, changed to defend, put it back on because you just see how quickly those ATB bars go when you're on auto battle. So once again, setting up that attack and that jump and I had a couple more hits in this fight should be done. Assuming that these damage rolls get a little bit better, Kane, what are you doing? <laughs> Kane and Cecil would never betray us. Never. Never. Especially not with damage rolls. So when the Mist Dragon turns to Mist, I also love how it said Mist Dragon. Shout out <laughs> to the individual in chat. Um, is it RNG based on when the Mist Dragon comes back, or is it just you know turn based of this many turns means it'll come back? It's as far as I know, it's time-based, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. at least it was in the Super Nintendo version. We used to, in the Super Nintendo version, we would use an actual sound cue. Like, when it hits this part of the music, that's when you send Kane in a jump, because then he'll land properly and everything would be good. So, uh, assumedly, it's the same in this version. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. There's a certain amount of defense and rounds that'll just pass by. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, that fight went quickly because it's just a an intro starter fight. So turns out the king, uh, we got kicked out as the captain of the Red Wings because we uh, questioned the king. And by questioned, I mean asked why. That was it. We didn't even say this was a bad thing. We said, hey, should we really, should we be stealing these crystals? And the king, in a very proportional response, uh, fired you or sorry, demoted you, uh, demoted your pal. Well, I don't think Kay was demoted, but he got sent with you. Uh, and you were given a bomb to bring to the summoner town, which you bring in, it explodes. Cecil decides, no, no, I, I'm done, I can't. This is this is bad. And Kane pushes him at first, but is just like, no, no, I'm, I agree with you. And this child is, that we know of, the only survivor. And her mother just died. Guess who summoned that mist dragon we just fought and killed? And guess which uh, people die if you kill their summons? Whoopsie. So uh, she's a little not pleased with us. Out of all the years I've played this game, I never knew that. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what happens. Like, her mother is the only one who didn't die in the fire. We killed her by killing her dragon. Yeah. We're good so now people. we're gonna we're gonna take our our little child somewhere safe here to Kaipo, mm -hmm. and everything will be fine because Kaipo's in the middle of the desert. Who's gonna get us all the way over here with the mountain right? collapsed? Yeah, exactly. Perfectly safe. Yeah, because the mountain collapsed. Yeah. So in the Super Nintendo version, we would use a glitch in order to uh, get to the other side of the Mist Town and access all the things that you're not supposed to be able to access until you have an airship. Alas, such a glitch is not in this version, so we must do it the intended way for now. I mean, Yet. the thing is... Yet. is <laughs> Yet. The thing is, though, is because of the way they kind of nerf magical items like the dancing dagger, mm -hmm. even if you could glitch your way into this town, it really wouldn't help you very much, unfortunately. Yeah, it's not as effective. And yeah, they definitely did change some of the items because they're like, hmm, that dancing dagger there is a little bit too powerful. So here... 
once again, uh, setting it and forgetting it, uh, except since we're just doing the default fight, we don't even need to set it. We can just forget it. So uh, we have set to auto battle and uh, we're just gonna sh destroy those soldiers and we are done. So we have proven to this small seven-year-old, let us be clear, this child is seven. Um, and we've proved to her that we're a trustworthy person, even though we just killed her mom and burned down her town. Um, <laughs> So she's uh, told us her name and she's going to travel with us because, yeah. <laughs> well, what else has she got to do? I mean, well, let's, exactly. let's be honest. She really yeah. has nowhere else to go. <laughs> now the most important not skip in the game. Mm-hmm. Don't do Rosa skip. Nobody wants Rosa skip. Rosa skip is where you forget to talk to Rosa, head into the upcoming cave, walk up to Tella, and Tella goes, what are you doing here? It's too dangerous. Turn around. Not and only that, move. but I didn't get blocked by Kaipo Hunk. I'm very happy oh. about that. <laughs> oh, this is the run. Yeah, we have loving names for any of the NPCs who tend to get in our way. Because they still do that even in this version, so mm -hmm. it's not quite so bad, I find, with the diagonal and the uh, the dashing, but it does still mm -hmm. no. happen. Kaipo Hunk is not so bad. The worst is uh, Miss Idia Chick. Ugh, Miss Idia, babe. Why would you do that? <laughs> and here's our, we'll say favorite old man. No, he's not. He's not no, our, he's not. our favorite. He's not. <laughs> I was going to say he's not. There are other old men in this game. So no, he's not our favorite <laughs> old man. We do not stand Tella in any way, shape, or form. But he has joined our party. Uh, he's here because he uh, did not approve of his daughter's uh, engagement and so his daughter left and said well I'm an adult I'm gonna go marry this guy anyways and Tella is now uh, desperate to stop her because he doesn't like that wicked bard because we all know bards are evil yes. so but there's a monster at the end of this cave unlike the monster at the end of the book so you have got to since you're a tough dark knight and a summoner um, you're gonna help him you have to yeah. go that way anyways. Yeah, because... the summoner is going to be totally helpful here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Totally helpful. Totally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, so we have to go to get the sand ruby uh, because Rosa managed to get out of Baron and tried to come and kind of warn us that we were in danger. But uh, got desert sickness. So the only cure for that is the sand ruby. And the only way to get a sand ruby is from the kingdom of Damsian. So that's where Tella's heading and that's where we're going. So fun times. Oh my gosh. Stay away from the summoner. I used to, <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I used to repeat that all the time when playing Final Fantasy X to the great uh, disappointment and sadness and <laughs> to my sister, she hated that anyways. It's fine. I should I should just find that and just put that on my phone as a ringtone. So when someone like calls me, it's just stay <laughs> away from the summoner. <laughs> oh, it's so angry. It's like the perfect. Uh, you know what? I want to do that now. That's a <laughs> exactly. Really good yeah. Idea. Every time you get a text message, it's just stay away from the summoner. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Yeah, that that won't make my students freak out at all. Oh my god, you're a genius. <laughs> <laughs> it would be better if they understood it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, I know. Oh, you don't get the other chest? No. So I am following a slightly different route than uh -huh. I did when I did this for uh, Flame uh, Frost Fatales. Yeah, Frost Fatales. There we go. Mm. So it's a little bit more straightforward, a little bit less um, stuff out of the way. Um, I pick up a couple of more safeties than they do because. Start. Yeah. <laughs> but. Um, but no diverting over to Castle Eblon and things like that. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, the one item that she did pick up, though, is a sword upgrade for Cecil uh, that we'll be equipping shortly. Um, not only is it one of the few weapon upgrades we even get in this version um, for Cecil, not just in this version, um, before, you know, while he's a Dark Knight, but it is also... The element of that sword is the weakness of the upcoming boss, so uh, we want to do that. We like damage. Ugh. 
That's so just crisp now. It is. <laughs> it is, yeah. It's... Mm -hmm. I love that background. It. It's so pretty. I love this. So, welcome to Octomammoth, our favorite super fast octopus in Final Fantasy IV. Um, this boss is the fastest boss in the game at the start. But for every one of his arms that he loses, uh, he slows down. It takes three hits to get rid of the first arm and two hits for every arm after that. Um, you still need to hit, of course, the certain amount of damage to kill Octomammoth, which means there is a slim chance that you could get your damage hits just right to kill Octomammoth when uh, he still has two arms up. But uh, that doesn't happen very often, sadly. Um, so we really don't care about Rydia or Tella here. Um, Tella helps a little bit, but generally speaking, neither of them are doing any damage or anything useful in this fight. So um, it's less attacks to go through. And yeah, makes Tella's just kind of being like a meat shield right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which, you know, the only, literally the one of the only useful things he has right now is HP. And is also not particularly useful. So, <laughs> yeah, like As literally. As you can see right there, <laughs> where he trying... this killing himself by seven HP. Yeah. So uh, this is going to ensure that Cecil gets more of the experience because usually experience is shared amongst the party members. Uh, plus, uh, I guess it's still going to the shadow party, but I don't know that we're routing that at this point. I don't think there is a shadow party HP no, gain in this version. No, I don't think so. Now that I'm thinking, I'm like, is there still a shadow party in this version? I don't think so. I think that's I think, why we just kill people. Yeah, they they kind of yeah. come back with a with a certain level gain, regardless. Yeah. Listen, we're speed running. We don't need a strong party. We just need speed. And uh, welcome to the Red Wings, who have just bombed Damsian just in time. We got here just in time to uh, watch it burn. Uh, we're going to see a lot of that in this game. <laughs> so <laughs> just, just a few this... times. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So w this room is in the Super Nintendo version. But uh, generally speaking, it just takes too much time and there's nothing useful there. So because we don't have the JP items, but because the JP items are in this version, uh, it is incredibly useful for us to go into that room and pick up a couple of items, such as an elixir and holy arrows. Now, one of the nice things about arrows in this version are that uh, you don't need, they're not individual anymore. Um, it's just a type, you equip holy arrows and you just have infinite holy arrows so you don't need to worry about your quantity of holy arrows which is such a nice change oh my gosh it's like one of the best quality of lives uh-huh yeah. uh oh we're so, coming so up to we're this at moment the moment to where chat needs to say something right yes i'm yes. i have no idea what you're talking about <laughs> use booty bard <gasps> please listen We'll never forgive you, Bard. You know what you did. But yes, everyone, get your spoons out and chat. Or your other general, you know, eating or cooking utensils. Yes. So it turns out uh, the Bard, the wicked Bard in question is actually the Prince of Damsian. And Tella's daughter, Anna, uh, just sacrificed her life in order to take an attack, which would have hit him. Because in her mind, it was more important that he lived. So uh, Edward's sad. Uh, Tella's angry. Angry enough to be a frail old man pushing aside a uh, young man in full armor. To explain the level of rage that Tella currently has. Yeah. So he's gone off. He's like, no, I'm going to find a way to get revenge on Golbez, who is the new leader of the Red Wings. Um, he must pay. And we're like, uh, that's a terrible idea. And Tella's like, can't talk, angry. Can't talk, angry. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost too cute for Tella. Oh my gosh. Can I just, can I just make put that on my Twitter? Can't talk, angry. Yes. Right? <laughs> Okay, so good news, everyone. Prince Edward has joined the party. 
It doesn't Yay. say as a bard in this version. I did love that about the Super Nintendo version. It'd be like, Yay. Edward has joined the party as a bard. So excited to have Edward in my He's party. So good. <laughs> <laughs> We love him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's definitely good, just like the Super Nintendo version. There are no lies here. Yeah, there's lots of lies. He <laughs> he is sadly useless. I don't... Uh, does he even have a point at all? Is there anything useful he does other than take some hits? Um, He will throw an Antarctic wind at the beginning of the Fabul Gauntlet. Okay, that's he does one thing. Literally one. He, he's a he's a he's a meme in chat. Yes, that is important. Yeah, we yeah. like memes in this house. Two. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I want to really I like me being me wants to attempt to do the emotional damage meme and I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> I would butcher it terribly. So another detour that you did definitely not make uh, in nope. any of the. Super Nintendo versions. <laughs> um, mostly to get that emergency exit back there because that will allow us to teleport the heck out of here when we're done with the Antlion. Like, that was <clears throat> really one of the items... Like, they removed a lot of the items because one of the, the challenges of the Japanese version was literally organization, like, of your inventory. Inventory management. Because you had so many different item types. It was so easy to just fill up your inventory. So they got rid of a lot of things to make that easy, but got rid of incredibly useful items like the emergency exit, which allows you to just teleport out of a dungeon. And those uh, banshees were kind enough to kill Rydia for me already, so uh, nice. that's Saving one time. less thing I have to do. Yeah. Unfortunately, Antlion is not as nice in this version, but also, Cecil is a dark knight wearing full armor. Um, he's fine. <laughs> <laughs> he could stand to do a slightly higher damage roll for me, though. <laughs> I'm I'm sure he has no idea what you're talking about. This no, because no the dark knights never, you know, <sighs> have noodle arms. I mean, yeah. I mean, Ant Lion is, you know, countering on Edward, and then Edward just ran away. So there we go. There's a damage roll. Yeah. Edward bravely ran away. We knew we could count on him. He's good at that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thankfully, in this version, he doesn't come back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. He'll just stay there, so it's just as if he's defending. It really doesn't matter. He can hide there. He's good. <laughs> yeah, it's much better time save. Uh, in, the, in basically every other version, it is very bad for him to be hideward mode because it's just, as RPG Chick said, uh, he constantly will just prompt you and just be like, hey, hey, can I come out now? Hey, what do you want me to do? Hey, hello? Hello, so is, is this, this my god? <laughs> like, constantly. And he, you're just like, no, go away. <laughs> so is it better in the run to have Edward take a nap um, or have Edward run away? It's still oh. slightly faster to have him take a nap, but yeah. we'll Deadward take either is, one. Yeah, we, Deadward is still superior to uh, to Napward, or sorry, to uh, Hideward. I want to say Bedward, yeah. but that's later. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we like Bedward because Bedward saves our butt. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The most useful he is in the game, and he's not even in our party. Mm -hmm. But we do not have any strong opinions about anything about this game. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> RPG Chick and I actually met each other through Final Fantasy IV speedrunning, so... Uh, we definitely have opinions on, on these games. Mm -hmm. Once upon a time, back when Miss City and Mayhem tournaments were still a thing. Yeah. They were so fun. One of these days, we'll have Miss City and Mayhem 3. It'll happen. I can dream. We could just do it based on the Pixel Remaster. It'll be fine. Oh my god, that would be so good. And it would still be faster than the original without the glitches. <laughs> <laughs> it really would. I'd do it. Oh, we should do that. Excuse me, going to go poke the Discord. <laughs> <laughs> also, if anyone ever hears something that sounds like a church bell or something, it means I've accidentally hit my mic. Sorry. Kind of sorry. Your mic sounds like a church bell? I'm intrigued. No, if I hit it the stand the wrong way, it makes a noise, which people are like, what was that? But I, you know, 
gesture a lot, so sometimes I hate it, <laughs> even though I'm not on camera. That, that's why I'm the one playing the game, because otherwise mm -hmm. I'd smack everything. <laughs> <laughs> Same dough. What if your microphone is a bell, though? Hmm. Then it's doing its job as intended. Good work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have this Sahagen who used to be Water Hag. Um, assuming the Sahagen has the same amount of HP as in the original, which I'm assuming it doesn't, it's uh, 45,672 HP. I, I don't know how you keep that number in your head. My head remembers <laughs> numbers. It doesn't remember anything useful, generally speaking, but it likes numbers, so I can remember that and not any of the French I'm learning currently. Oh, okay. I yeah, gotcha. it's good. It's good. So, um, yeah, that's... But it is a plot battle, so you just need to hit Waterhag, sorry, Sahagen three times, and uh, he bravely runs away. One of the really other nice quality of life upgrades about this version is um, most of the time you can actually speed through in battle text. Granted, yes, you can also set it to very fast as well, but you can mash through it, which is mm -hmm. really nice. <laughs> oh, it is. It's so nice. Plus, speaking of mashing, Turbo is allowed. We do have separate boards for Turbo, which is just fabulous. Okay, it's time for the best therapist in the world mm -hmm. do her thing. <laughs> yeah, so uh, as we've seen in the long time we've known Rydia, um, she actually really hates fire because uh, her mom died and then her town burned down. But there's an ice wall in the way. And so Rosa is either literally the best therapist or has really heckin' good snacks and is like, here, Rydia, you can cast fire. And Rydia's like, yeah, that was fun. I can totally cast fire. And then never cast fire again because we don't need it. You know, you saying <laughs> oh. that she has really good snacks makes me think that she's got like Rydia snacks, like Scooby snacks. Oh my gosh. I would love to see that. <laughs> that would be so I great. I want that. I, I want that to be just like a little thing that I can go to like a, like a Square Enix store and buy oh Rydia gosh. snacks. Hey, I mean, we got any artists in chat? You know, you I can. I mean, F. Coughlin does have the, the, the Rydia cookies, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, he does. <clears throat> okay, so we're trying to get through this fight in hopefully three turns. It can go as long as five. Uh, those damage rolls seemed good, but I don't think it's the same calculation that it is in the Super Nintendo version. So I have no idea. That's okay, neither do I, because they're pretty random. <clears throat> yeah. Nope. Oh, turns. that's just rude. Yup. I think it was left with like one or two HP also, which is extra rude. Oh. I saw, I saw, I saw in chat, Rydia Ritzes. <laughs> I love that. Chat, you're so good. Speaking of chat, they're bringing up the point that if you level up Rydia enough as child Rydia, she does actually learn like Fire 2 and Fire 3. Mm -hmm. um, but she will never naturally learn Fire 1 without this cutscene. Okay, so we're fighting Mom Bomb. She has three phases, uh, only two we really care about. But um, we're trying to do about... Eight. Is it still 800 damage in this version? Approximately. It's pretty close. Yeah, so we're doing 800 damage, which is triggered phase two here. Uh, she's going to announce shortly that she's going to blow, apparently, which is something um and then we are going to uh wait a moment and then kick on these bombs yeah Do the previous darkness. route the, the previous route had a hourglass on this fight but um kicking in darkness is just faster it's way faster yeah you don't need that okay bye also very helpfully rosa learns life now <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> she is not going to be in battle again with us for uh, at least an hour. <laughs> yeah, it'll it'll be a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but don't worry. Another We've got yanked. Sorry, go ahead. I was say another thing that I no that I noticed is that when different characters speak, they have different colors mm -hmm. on in their text. Mm -hmm. That's, it that's does a that nice with, thing. It does that with all of the pixel remasters, and yeah, I love that too. 
So you don't always have to read, you just see which color it is, and you're like, oh, that's who's talking. But they do still put the name there, which is good for people mm -hmm. who might be colorblind yes. or yes. whatever. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, a lot of the uh, personal abilities have been modified. Some better, some worse. Um, yeah, Kick is fine. Darkness is actually pretty quite good. But I, yeah, I just don't need it. Those, yeah, those... I just find it interesting. Sorry, go ahead. Those JP skills uh, like Darkness and Cry and whatnot are things that got left out of the SNES version along with the JP items. Some of them should have stayed that way. Um. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm sorry. We like don't use Cry. I think ever. Well, I understand. It's actually really useful casually though, because it really boosts the heck out of Palum's magic stats. Oh, Bluff is fabulous. <laughs> bluff was not one of the abilities I was talking about. <laughs> that one was tragically left out. One of the best extra abilities in the game. Just use Bluff a couple times with uh, with poor uh, with Palum, and just oh my god, you're just seeing mm -hmm. the damage he's doing. You're like, excuse me. Yeah, it's yeah, but cry? No, get out of no, here. No, no. <laughs> it makes a funny noise. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of funny noises, we are going to start using some of those JP items, um, making sure to pick them up as we go. Uh, Antarctic Wind is, uh, I think it's Ice 2? Yeah. Yeah, so it's Blizzard 2 uh, in an item and it automatically targets all enemies. So uh, considering we do not have any magic users in our party or any healing right now, um, that's just a good way to start off. That first fight um, is fine, but things because of the RNG factor can just start going wrong right from the get-go so getting a nice clean first fight is uh, really helpful after you get so far in the uh, the football gauntlet uh, characters dying becomes less impactful because you've got less fights to try and slog through without them so there are six fights in total and um, I'm assuming it carries over, but it is irrelevant in this version. Um, Edward's hide. Oh, actually, he hit your net lion. I noticed that. He auto... Or did you make him hide? No, he auto hid. Oh, so they have changed that. Yeah. Yeah, because he used to only um, automatically hide in non-boss fights, which would affect this um, because he was our main damage dealer. And could auto hide here because these are random encounters according to the coding. But uh, that's one of those little things that if you know the speed run, you're like, wow, that's totally different. I love how the, the whole time throughout all of this, the first person to run away from this entire battle is Edward. Mm -hmm. He's the smartest. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to need a Kane to play nice today. Yeah. Yeah, because this version doesn't heal Cecil up after these fights, correct? It does. It restores oh, it does him so. to full health. Yeah. Oh, no. Edward. That's okay. Take him. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I can, I can find an old man for you, too, if you're looking. But no, we're gonna attempt to be good people and actually defeat these folks. So what we're trying to do is we came to Fabul to try and warn them that this exact attack was coming so they could hopefully defend. Only we did make it here before the attack, but not, not enough time. Um, and so we attempt to help. We're like, yeah, we're gonna defend you. We're gonna send the ladies off so they're safe because this was made in the 90s. Mm -hmm. um, and then Kane shows up. And is suddenly attacking us, which is not very nice. Um, we also want to lose this fight. Um, we can't win it, so we're helping this Dragoon along by hitting ourselves. There we go. No, okay. you jerk! Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> you jerk, Kane! How dare you! Kane? Oh. What? <laughs> I still saved a couple- I still saved the dialogue a couple of lines, so I'm good. I'm good. I... It's just like, Kane, <laughs> why? It should be impossible for him to do that little damage with the gear he's wearing. I- I'm- 
I'm pretty sure it's like because they want you to see the last line of plot. Oh my god. <sighs> and to answer the question in chat, no, this is not trash can percent of all of the many beautiful, beautiful glitches in the Super Nintendo version. Um, that one actually was patched out even in the Super Nintendo version. There are two different versions of the US Super Nintendo version. There's a 1.0 cart and a 1.1 cart. And in the on the 1.1 cart, one of the few changes is that they actually patched out the mimic glitch, which is what you use to do the trash can glitch. So um, to even be able to do that in the original Super Nintendo version, you must have the 1.0 cart. So uh, if you're looking to speed run that on original hardware, make sure to look for the uh, 1.0 carts. We are gonna do it something nifty for Scarmiglione though, I promise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love fancy. Also picking up some cool items. That's a haste item, um, which we're picking up because going faster is better. Especially when we get to a certain very aggravating fight later in the run. <laughs> no fights are aggravating. We love every fight, <laughs> every character in this game. But yeah, so they're realizing that they're not going to be able to kind of get into Baron without a boat. So they're going to ask the king, hey, got a boat we can use because nothing bad ever happens on boats and RPGs. Yeah. No, no, nothing. Mm -hmm. We're totally powerful party with this... Uh, Weak Bard, a seven-year-old summoner who at this point in the game has like no summons, has a fire spell. Woo! We have a Dark Knight who is theoretically powerful and a monk who also, we like monk, monk good, monk powerful. And uh, we're gonna take a boat, we're gonna sneak into Baron, we're gonna, I don't know, somehow fix everything and win, yay! <laughs> It'll be fine. Nothing will possibly go wrong. Also, the one problem I have with this version the one problem is Yang's they kept wife. her Yang's wife. <laughs> I know she doesn't get named until other versions, like it's a retcon, and they try and keep them the most original. But, anyways, everyone say hi to Sheila or Yang's wife. She's the best and we love her. And yes, it is in fact time for Jumped or Pushed. Yes. This I'm is... always on Team Pushed. Yeah, oh, it's Team Pushed. Oh my god. So, to explain to those who are new, we are in a cutscene. Nothing bad happens on boats in Final Fantasy. Um, spoiler alert, something bad almost always happens on boats in Final Fantasy. Um, and one such thing is uh, Yang is going to go overboard. And Cecil is directly behind him when it happens. So the FF4 community has a, a quite fierce debate as to whether Yang jumps over the side to try and save Rydia, who had fallen over a moment before, and whether Cecil was just looking over the side, being like, oh, hey, or whether Cecil pushes him. It's coming up now. <laughs> Take a look. Both RPG Chick and I are on Team Pushed. You just watch this. Cecil committed his, his last bad act as a Dark Knight and pushes that monk overboard. Honestly, I think it's even more obvious on this version it that is. he does push him. <laughs> he absolutely pushes him. First, we'll see Rydia go over in a moment. Oh yeah, After we're also the sailors being panic. attacked by <laughs> Leviathan. Oops. I mean, I mean that happens every day. Yep, no, exactly. And pushed. Push. Oh. He was pushed. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> no. And then Edward. Eddie is just like, I'm hitting the deck because you can't push me if I'm down. <laughs> yep, it's much harder. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna make you work for it. That's definitely a push, That's though. Definitely That's definitely a push. a push, though. There's no mm -hmm. way that was a jump. Like, let's be clear here. Yang was likely looking over and getting ready to jump. But he didn't. He was definitely pushed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, Cecil attempted to assassinate Yang. Yang's too powerful for his puny Dark Knight powers. <laughs> also, sleeper track of this remaster. Holy shnikes. Yeah, really. You don't get to hear too much of it in the run, but it's so yeah. good. Yeah, right? Well, one thing that I did enjoy about the Pixel Remasters is that they had it 
in there. So if you're like speedrunning, like I just want to, I want to hear Mysidious theme. You can go there and just find it in the soundtrack that's mm -hmm. provided in the game. So you can just sit down there and just listen to it. Yeah. Um, one of the other complaints, very few complaints I have in this version. They swap the color of the capes on the twins. I never noticed that. Yeah, I noticed it because I used to play a lot of Final Fantasy IV Free Enterprise, the ra the open world randomizer for FF4. Great randomizer, by the way. Definitely yes, try it. Yes, it is it. amazing. So good. Um, and the way I'd identify the twins is by looking at their capes. And um, uh, Porum has the red cape, and Palum has the green cape. And it's the opposite in this version. It makes me mad. It's probably more correct, <laughs> but uh, it makes me sad. So I'm just we like, some, I don't know who is who. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> we have some individuals in chat who are not Team Push, apparently. No, I know. Like I say, this is a hot debate. This is not a one-sided debate. It, uh, it rages on to this day. So we are going to clear our inventory because we have collected some absolute junk uh, in our travels. Like, he needs a heart. Come on now. Um, and so, unlike other versions of this game, we don't have glitches giving us literal millions of gil. So uh, we are selling our extra stuff and picking up some useful items, including uh, those uh, high potions. I'm like, wait, they're not cure twos in this version. Uh, those high potions and some phoenix downs. That is one thing I really liked about it was they, you know, changed everything from you know cure one, cure two to you know potion, high potion, and it went and went from at least I remember in six it was phoenix down with an F. Now it's <laughs> I remember it, you know. that. I love that. <laughs> it was just like, uh huh. You never misspell it though. True. Yeah. Zoo really wants Zoo. my attention here. I mean, Zoo is fabulous. Not in Mystic Zoo. Quest. <laughs> What's in Mystic Quest? Thankfully. Yeah, I was, I was, I was going to go off and say, I've been playing a bunch of Mystic Quest randomizers, and it's nice. still, I do not like Zoo. <laughs> oh, how are you enjoying the rando? It's, isn't it? It's a lot of fun. <laughs> it is super fun. Now that it actually, you know, works thanks to Wild Ham. <laughs> yes. Yes. Is it the same randomizer or a totally different one? Totally different wild hand is basically it was a totally built it from one. the ground up. So good. And uh, I'll actually be showcasing that on Friday somewhere. Mmm. Ooh. Also, Scar Scarmiglione has a yellow cape now. Mm hmm. Meanwhile, in the Fortress of Doom, things are happening. Now. Yeah, we're no longer in the bowling alley. Yeah. Now it's legit the Fortress of Doom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can do it. Right, we hope to get as few encounters as possible here, but uh This mountain can be kind of mean, and of course now yeah. we're gonna run into Tella who is going up well, down the mountain the wrong way from the top. <laughs> He's going down the up elevator. And you're just like, excuse me, sir? Sir, this is a Wendy's? <laughs> but Tella does what Tella wants. And so these kids, they're just like, uh, to note, again, these twins are five. They're even younger than Rydia. But they see a Tella and they're like, oh my God, this is the great sage Tella. Oh my God, oh my God. And Tella's like, right, adults are talking now. And it just completely ignores them. It's... Just a Tella move. And considering Tella is a parent himself, you're just like, well, was. <laughs> too wow. soon? <laughs> yeah, too soon. <laughs> Have some chat. Ooh, but yeah, so he's just like, I ain't got to no time for these kids. We're done here. Wow, that I was not the, a fun I, encounter. I enjoy the ghouls there. <laughs> yeah. Mostly because after my show is speedrun from the crypt, where they showcase ghouls in all horror video games. Ooh. Do you know what they're showing this week? It is uh, Silent Hill and the Evil Within 2. Ooh. Definitely going to want to stick around for that. Okay. Great night overall. Yeah, no, I, that. I love how they made the, the cave all glowy. 
Mm -hmm. Just sitting back yeah. there, just glowing away. Nothing suspicious here. Nope. No oh. indicator that there's a plot point there. Not mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. So once again, using the JP items to our extreme advantage, uh, using that bomb fragment, which is fire two. Um, we are once again going to get our twins, like in the Super Nintendo version. We want them casting uh, twin casts as much as possible um, because it is, generally speaking, much more powerful. But just like in the other version, we don't want Comet. Comet is a spell which is it costs uh, more MP. Uh, it does the same amount of damage no matter how many enemies are there. While Pyro does more damage, like it spreads the damage amongst the enemies. So if you only have one enemy, it's going to do more damage. Plus that, you know, inherent weakness of Scarmiglione, you know, being weak to fire. But oopsie daisy, we didn't actually uh, kill this beast. They've returned looking more fabulous than before and definitely tougher. They just told us to die. I'm scared. You just hit a child. Yeah, I, I did. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not really. But I'm <laughs> I, thought, I thought the push was Cecil's last uh, evil act. <laughs> but that was, oh my god. Somehow I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay because bye, Scarpy Fione. Goodbye. I did not forget about that. So, yes. um, got love. That's why we picked up that elixir. Uh, Scar Miglione is undead. So what do you do to undead creatures? You heal them, which kills them. So that's what we did. We used our precious elixir to just one shot that boss. Mylon Z into the trash. Does even more damage than the trash can. Mm -hmm. That unfortunately does not work in the Super Nintendo version because they just mucked around with those things. So uh, really easy fight. Um, only accessible if you have JP items. I also can't wait until he's in Final Fantasy XIV. I will you chat just with want, anyone just, in yeah. chat about you fourteen. You just want him to say that he wants to send you into the deep ravine. Oh my god, that was so cool. <laughs> oh my god. Listen, they've they've already got the dolls there. They have creepy dolls in my video game, and it makes True. me sad. Okay, so, so I, go ahead. I just want to like we all know that Cecil or. Cecil, Cecil, uh, is you know has the entire armor. But when Cecil turns into um, a paladin, this gorgeous hair. So I want to like, I want to know the like the the, the the hair products that Cecil is using while being a dark knight. Why are you holding that hair back while wearing a helmet? That's why he's wearing the helmet because he doesn't want anything to destroy his hair. Yeah. Yeah, it is far too fabulous. And uh, he had to hide it for the good of all. But now, now he can do it again. He can show his beautiful hair and look at it. So not only has Cecil uh, successfully become a paladin, uh, which is what he was sent here to do, by the way. Uh, he asked for help from the, uh, from the elder in Mesidia. And the Mesidia elder was just like, we don't trust you. We're not helping you until you become a paladin. And Cecil's like, no. And so the elder's like, well, we're not helping you, bye. And so Cecil's like, fine, fine, I'll become a paladin. And then um, the elder's like, oh yeah, and take these two five-year-olds with you. So we don't trust him enough to give him any help or anything, but we'll send two five-year-olds with him. Questionable choices there, elder. Guardian of the Year Award. <laughs> there we go. Equipping Cecil, who now, as a paladin, has a whole new item set of things that he can use and is way more useful. Yeah, like those holy arrows we picked up earlier. Yeah. Everything here is undead, or almost everything here is undead. Um, also, by killing off all of those characters, we can get uh, Paladin Cecil here some extra experience, which uh, doesn't take that much because he's back at level one so he uh levels up quite quickly so doing a very quick grind of some fights down here is gonna level him up making him even better yeah we're gonna hope he gets to somewhere between 16 and 19 by the time we're at the bottom of the mountain but if he doesn't mm. it's fine it's fine yeah. 
Nothing could possibly go wrong. And yes, at the same time that Cecil became a paladin, um, the mountain was like, hey, we like revenge, and uh, unlocked all of Tella's spells and taught him the holy spell Meteor, which is fine. It, he's not too old to use it or anything. No, the game purposely not. only gives him 90 MP and gives him this 99 MP spell that he cannot use. There is no way around that limitation in this version that I know of. Can you get any Soma drops? Before Tella dies? I don't Spoiler think alert. so, no. No. But um, I, I miss that MP underflow. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. Oh yeah. In the Super Nintendo version, you can uh, underflow the MP of any character who has MP. And so it's essentially infinite MP and it is so good. And we use it on Tella and just medio things and Tella is so incredibly useful. But once again, we currently do not have those sort of glitches in this version. So no. Tella gets to lie and have a nap. He's tired. He's worked hard. That's okay. Yeah, He'll I mean, still that's, do that's a little all bit. All I'm work. doing right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're all just taking a nap. Same dope. Yeah. That's I mean, we just had a, we just had a really really hard fight. Mm -hmm. So I mean, the twins, you know, the twins being five definitely need a nap. That's what I mean. Tella being, five years old. Tella being old. Yeah. Isn't he only like 60 something? Like, what they call old in this game is not old. Um, I was gonna say, knowing knowing how anime spent, I was gonna say like 40. Yeah, no, Sid is 40. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry. Yeah, I know, say <laughs> both. You and me both. Oh no, oh, no. I'm, I'm, I'm turning 37 this year. I feel all the pain. It's okay, you're still a baby. Yeah, yeah, you're still a baby. You're doing good. Tell us. Canonical age. Come on, Google. Use those Google Foo skills. Google Foo. No, Foo's later. Yeah, he's 60 years old. Like, are you serious? How old do you think 60 is? <laughs> Spoiler alert. At least alert. in this version, he doesn't lose stats. <laughs> As he gets older, you're like, I'm sorry, excuse me. At least I don't think he loses stats in this version. I, I'm I don't pretty know. sure. You'd have to use them enough to find out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I have... Anyone who speeds around this game any amount has uh, a fair amount of strong feelings for Tella. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Tella life is a thing for a reason. Oh, he betrayed us so many times. You can't come back from that old man. While yeah. we have a quick second, I will say that uh, your subs, gift subs, prime gaming subs, and bits help support the weekly Hotfix content. Please consider supporting our daily content starting weekdays at 7 p.m. Eastern and weekends at 1 p.m. Eastern if you enjoy these Hotfix shows. And we're hoping, since you're all here, you do, in fact, enjoy those. Mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. that would be, you know, beneficial to actually being here in the channel. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, move, thank you. <laughs> also, Sid is, oh, is that old? No way. Thought he was like 40 and they act like, they call him old man all the time. I'm like, how dare you first off? <laughs> oh my God, he is, he's 54. Okay, good, that's a little better. So Sid is canonically <laughs> six years younger than Tella. Look at either of these characters and tell me that. <laughs> I love video games so much. It's, those, oh. those six years, though. Those six years between oh. 54 and 60. <laughs> Tell has seen some things, folks. He has yes, seen some yes. things. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, so You we... know what? I'm missing my monk. Yeah. yeah. I mean, who wouldn't be? Uh, speaking of characters we love. Hi, Yang. Yeah, so uh, since we actually did become a paladin and didn't die as expected... Um, the Elder kind of sent us to die. It was really nice of him. Um, he actually is helping us because we could not have become a paladin if we weren't trustworthy, apparently. So um, we got to use the Serpent Way, which is the magical passage between Baron and uh, Mesidia, as they must have been on good terms at some point. And we I might... Go. I, like, I never noticed this. I'm, I didn't mean to interrupt, sorry. <laughs> no, no, go ahead. Okay. Uh, when... Palom and Porum are, you know, on the ground, quote unquote, asleep. They have, uh, was it? Palom has a text box and Porum is easily snoring. Yeah, uh huh. I've never noticed that those little tiny details of pixels there. 
It's so good. Like, they put so much love into these games. It is also, perfect. It's still three o'clock. It's still, listen, <laughs> I'm, I'm crafting new theory videos as we, as we speak. I'm just like, hmm, this is just a dream the whole time. But yeah, so we found Yang here and we're like, hey, Yang, sup, we found you, you didn't die. And he's like, die. And we're like, excuse me? And uh, then we hit him exactly once. Cecil hits him exactly once, to be specific. And he goes, ow, my head, what? And he literally has no idea. He's like, what happened? So uh, he was brainwashed. Definitely the first time that's happened in this game. <coughs> uh, <and laughs> Can I say how much I love the fact that we come here to talk and Palum just crawls into a bed. He's just like, yo! That is a child after my own heart. Uh, I can see yeah. the timing on that fight is a little awkward. Right. It should be a couple of seconds after the second kick, but... Yeah. <laughs> so, but we now have the key to all the cool buildings in here, aka the weapon shop. So we are going to pick up some uh, extra claws for... Um, Sid, um, those elemental differences, like the elemental status on those claws is going to help us in some fights a lot. So, uh, it's not very expensive and it helps us a lot. So we're going to do that. Plus, uh, the headbands and the Kempo Gi, uh, help us because not only do they increase defense, they're faster than the regular male and they increase attack. So, um, and it's cheaper than the male as well. So generally speaking, that's what we're gonna use for basically the rest of the game for uh, a lot of our main melee characters. We're gonna steal some things from Edge down the line too, but yeah, that's yeah. about it. <laughs> you know you did, I Edge. Did, <laughs> I did just see this in chat, and that Yang just calls uh, calls Cecil a traitor because Cecil pushed him over. I mean, he's not wrong. It was yeah. very nice. He deserved a bit of uh, payback. <laughs> That's okay, they had their fight, they're friends again. Yeah, that is a good point chat brings up, that the shopkeeps were locked in their own shops. <laughs> yeah, it's true, yeah. Oh my gosh. It, this is why sometimes it's always fun to speedrun, like, RPGs and stuff like this, because the more you run them, you get so familiar, you just start to see things, and you're just like, whoa. <laughs> they can get yeah. hard about this, but... <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> but then you come up with amazing community memes and it all works out. It's so good. Also, with in terms of the Pixel Remaster, I'm glad they gave you a map. Oh my gosh. And like and like when you open up the map casually, it tells you like when you're in a castle, like how many treasures there are, how many you know trophies there are, or anything else along those lines. Mm -hmm. I love like so many of the things. There's the Pixel me uh, remasters work so hard to stay true to the original games. So almost everything that has been changed is purely from a quality of life perspective, not an actual gameplay or anything perspective. And they're all just so good. I just, yeah, I just love all of them. Also, uh, the children don't smell that Bygan is a monster this time. Uh, they can just tell. They're just like, come on. Come on, dude. Really? Really? I mean, when you look like that. Listen, sometimes you just have snake arms, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. The best version of Bygan is the DS version. Because oh. the, the snake arms wiggle and you're just yes. like, this is, this is so good. I just, this design, I have no idea what they were thinking of, but I'm here for it. You can also see the bone. How dare you. How dare you. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it's true, you can. <laughs> I'm, I gotta, we gotta stop investigating this. We're gonna see more things. Soon we'll see too much. <laughs> Way too much. Way too much. Okay. So yes, once again, unfortunately, the twins are not <laughs> useful to us. So uh, they're having a nap. They're resting while the adults do the fighting, which honestly, they're five. They shouldn't be involved in this anyways. And then a, a floating hand. Sometimes you just have a floating hand. 
Yeah. It's fine. Listen, if I have snake arms, I want them to be able to float independently. Wait, no, that might not be so <laughs> <laughs> Thinking that one through, I take it back. No, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> They're snakes. They should be able to subsist on their own. Subsist, yes. Float, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you want your arms to float independently of your control? Maybe. Mm. Well, maybe, you know what? We don't, we don't, we don't shame here. So here we go, our uh, elemental lord number two, uh, Kainazo, uh, who brings up his tsunami wall, which unfortunately is not helpful to him very much because as soon as- oh, That was not fun. Oh, <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, if you don't bundaga him in time, that's what he does. <laughs> yeah, uh, he he just yeah that tsunami actually is really bad. Um, as you saw, not very good. Um, but as we're gonna see, lightning actually counteracts it. If you hit him with lightning while he's got it up, he'll just put it right back down. So uh, yeah, that was intended, right? Oh yeah, definitely. Totally. It's our yeah. 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 Oh my god. Final Fantasy IV heard what we were saying, didn't it? <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's good at that. Even in this version, it's good at that. <laughs> yeah, one of the things we maintain as part of the FF4 speedrunning community is that FF4 can hear you. It knows. So if you're trying to get a world record or play it fast and loose, it knows. <laughs> and it will do everything in its power to stop you. And we were being too irreverent to the snake arms, and it said, nah. -uh. No, you gotta you gotta be nice to those snake arms. And yeah, wasn't very nice. This is really cool, Natara. Look, I'm gonna have six party members now. <gasps> I love that. That's so many party members. Also, Sid is not 50, 54. You cannot convince me. I'm sorry. <laughs> actually, you know what? 54 is actually a reasonable age for Sid. It's Tella being 60. <laughs> That's fine. Oh no, what's happening? It's not like we have too many party members in our party right now. No, six was fine. No. Yeah. Six was fine. So our poor twins, um, they rested a bunch. And then when we got into this problem, they're like, oh, we can solve this. We're rested, we're ready to go. So of their own accord, they uh, cast Petrify and stop the walls from moving. Um, and we are unable to cure them because they have uh, turned to stone of their own will. Um, there is, of they're... course, a lovely rumor going around the community that it's yes. Tella that casts stone on them to and save the rest of doesn't... the party members. <laughs> I'm just going to mention that, and that's why he can't cure them, because he's not really trying. <laughs> we, we do not like Tella. <laughs> wow. Curse you, Tella. Yeah, I, wow. I, hope, I hope you're not here for some Tella appreciation, because uh, we have some very bad news for you. <laughs> yeah. So welcome back. We are at the Fortress of Doom, and uh, Rose is just like, please, please stop this. This is silly. But that's okay because now that we found Sid, we are going to get the thing we were hoping for—an airship. Because he hid one away somehow. Um, and so we are going to get the Enterprise. Best airship ever. Uh -huh. Also, I just noticed Tella's walking differently than the rest. Everyone else is walking smooth, and Tella's like keeps bumping into the back of Sid <laughs> or like Yang. What's happening? Tella's just just about had it. <laughs> he really yeah, has. Yeah. He's had it with all of these kids. <laughs> and yes, for those who are looking for the bowling bar ball, which is usually included in the bowling alley. Um, that is a, US, a North American uh, Super Nintendo version only. That was the uh, one of the lovely examples of the censoring that was performed on a lot of North American games that came over in the 90s. Um, because squishing someone with a huge bowling ball is definitely less graphic and gruesome than a uh, clean, sharp blade. Just putting that out there. Don't think the censors thought that one through, but they weren't no. allowed to show the blade <laughs> on... Uh, they weren't allowed to have it there, so it could, they changed it to a giant bowling ball. 
Yeah, that went along with a lot of the other changes of like holy to white and things like that. Yeah, exactly. Couldn't have references to religion. Uh, yeah, there were a lot of changes like that, which, you know what, it's the, the age, the time, but, um, those rules are not the same anymore, so we can return it to its original state. Um, Golbez is only evil when he's wearing his armor, uh, when he is, never mind, okay, okay. <laughs> bringing in the free enterprise memes now. <laughs> <laughs> One of the longest running requests for new character sprites for free enterprise is shirtless Golbez. Mm. to the point it's just oh a meme now goodness. well he's in after years you yeah. see yeah you see Golbez. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's shirtless Golbez. so and he's fabulous so everyone's like oh my god the after years that's a thing I, yeah. There's a lot I really love about that that Same. little side game, and then there's a lot that's just really, really, really awful. Yeah, yeah. I love a lot of the lore and mm -hmm. the character. Like some of the 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 journey that Kane goes on is just wow, it's so good. Like I got legit excited, but uh, some of it is just awful. Oh, like the moon phases. The moon phases are just absolutely disgusting. Uh, yeah, 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 stuff like that yeah. is not very nice at all. Listen, we like muscle wiz wizards in this house. So we're in Cave Magnus, or however it's pro properly pronounced. I will always pronounce it Cave Magnus. Um, the gimmick of this cave is uh, it is under a, a strong magnetic field, so you cannot wear any metal in this cave um, because otherwise you can't move which is why the characters that are alive who aren't Sid are paralyzed, and apparently Yang. Because um, his claws are not metal. Or don't count as the metal. That It's not magnetic, anyways. Um, but we don't worry about that, because we're not planning to fight anything anyways. And as long as we have at least one character who's not paralyzed, we can run away, which is what we're doing. So uh, RPG check changed absolutely none of the gear, and it's just running on through. RPG chick might have sold an iron glove, which is fine. <laughs> oh, no. Run over. That's it. Sorry, folks. <laughs> gotta go. <laughs> Thankfully, that is not a run-ending uh, problem. It is just annoying. Uh, it's going to be some extra time, but uh, you'll get to see a cutscene. Yay! Oh, no. We're good. Okay. Woo. I did yeah, not Tella... sell it. <laughs> yeah, Tella is wearing, I think it's the ruby ring something. Oh, you didn't sell it. I didn't think you hadn't sold it earlier, but I wasn't watching your sell menu this time. Nice. So by uh, purposely equipping uh, Sid with that uh, iron glove, we make sure that everyone has metal. And since everyone's paralyzed, the fight just ends. And since it's an auto battle and you really can't win anyways, uh, that's ideal. We want that. It's the fastest way to go. By the way, so. this is one of my biggest pet peeves in this remake is the um, the fact that they don't heal you up in between for this fight. <laughs> oh, yeah, they don't. They did in the Super Nintendo version. I think they yeah. even do in the like Japanese version. I think they do in almost every other version. <laughs> yeah. That's just me. It is. It's kind of cruel. Yeah. It is. While this music is playing, I will say for a reminder, Summer Games Done Quick is coming up soon, June 26th to July 3rd. Prize submissions are now open. Go to gamesdonequick.com for more information. And Frame Fatales will be having its next all-women speedrunning event, Flame Fatales, in late August. Type exclamation mark FF in chat or go to gamesdonequick.com slash Frame Fatales for more information. Oh my god. You jerk. So, um, we're fighting here and we have, uh, berserked Cecil because characters are both faster and, uh, have more attack power when berserked. But, uh, Dark Elf has this lovely attack called Tornado, which brings you down to single-digit HP. Now, this wouldn't be a problem for any other character if any other character got Tornado. But Cecil will automatically cover anyone who's in critical HP and take the damage in their stead. And since Cecil's the only one doing damage, we don't care if anyone's 
alive anyways. Um, so it's just always the worst RNG when it's Cecil who gets hit, but usually it's fine. That's why we have a couple of extra um, high potions and stuff like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, just in case. Also, uh, you can walk out and forget that earth crystal and uh, then you have to come back. Who would ever do that? No, no, never. Not even once. I'm not sure, I don't think I have actually done that one yet. I will. It's inevitable. <laughs> <laughs> I've definitely done Rosa Skip. Thankfully, I have not done either one of those things. Oh, yet. I've done Rosa Skip. And we're past them, so I can safely say that. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, that's why I'm happy to talk about them now. Because <laughs> it's gone, and we don't have to do any magical things with chocobos in this version, so we just grab the ones we need, and with a dash, they're much faster to get anyways. Mm-hmm. Chocobos are so cute in this. They are. They're just so cute always, and that music yes. is great. Especially the one in the Pixel Rat Remaster for six. Yeah. They're all so good. So we come back, even though we didn't talk to them in the first place, and we're like, hey, we got your crystal for you. And they're so happy because we... Oh, Kane showed up and basically threatened us and said, hey, if you want Rosa back, you've got to get, get the Earth Crystal for us. And so we come up, we come and actually don't talk to them. But the plot point is that it was stolen already by the Dark Elf. And we have to go and uh, get it. And they're like, okay, we'll lend it to you. Just don't lose it. If you're a fan of Chocobo music, you should listen to the original Chocobo music from FF2 and drive yourself a little, um, yeah, <laughs> a little crazy <laughs> with it. If you listen to it, you'll understand. <laughs> I don't think it's that way for the Pixel Remaster, though. But yeah, the original, that was something special. Yeah. That's where some of the remasters come in uh, of the music, really. For some, it's not as good as the originals, but for some, it's definitely a lot more tolerable. So uh, we are in the Tower of Zot, as uh, inspired by the Tower of Zot in Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, <laughs> um, we uh, are, have to run from everything, um, but we actually are more likely to get things like back attacks here. Uh, this is where encounters start to get mean. Now we are purposely opening this chest, this trap chest, because we get a flame sword out of this fight. And that is incredibly useful for us later. We're only going to have one, but um, Golbez at the very least, um, and actually it actually it helps with uh, Barbariccia as well, uh, are both weak to fire. So having that fire sword helps us a lot. So, and Sid was tired, so we let him have a nap. He needed it. Yeah. I am also sad that they closed the dev room in this game. I was so excited to go see the dev room again, and they're like, it's closed, and I'm like, excuse me? That's not supposed also, to be closed. Yeah, this is the original version, hello? Also, I really enjoy that when Sid is taking a nap, it looks like he has a giant grin on his face. <laughs> yeah, he still does, yeah, it's so good. Okay, what glitches were taken out in the Pixel Remaster that we knew and loved back in the day? All, All of them. them. <laughs> All of them. Some of the Aaron. other Pixel Remasters, they're finding some pretty interesting glitches, especially in one. Um, oh, one has got some neat glitches. <laughs> but I, as far as we know, nothing yet in four. Oh my gosh, wouldn't it be cool if we could turn uh, Zeromus into goblins? <laughs> yes, yes, it would. <laughs> Which is, by the way, one of the major glitches they discovered in the Final Fantasy I Pixel Remaster. That you can turn chaos into a pack of goblins, <laughs> of imps. So you, you're like, this is a hard fight. Yeah, it's super good. But yes, yeah, so any of the glitches you know from the Super Nintendo version are not here. We keep hoping we'll find some cool, useful glitches, but as of yet, not for four. Yeah, a lot of those were due to the way they programmed it, and now that they're aware of them, they, of course, patched them out for this version. Mm -hmm. Plus, 
this version uh, mechanically is actually quite different from the original. And it's not something you notice unless you're trying to speed run it and, you know, take advantage of a lot of those mechanics. And then you're like, huh, it doesn't work the same at all. Hmm. Oh my gosh, if you could Uptco Zeromus oh in this version. That would be oh so man. nice. For those who are unfamiliar, um, the really glitchy run in the final f in the Super Nintendo version of this uh, is called the Any Percent No Credits Warp Run, and it is incredibly glitchy. We do some really cool things, but it culminates with corrupting Fusoya's spells. So he has this new spell called Upco which is the end of disrupt and the beginning of i always forget which is the co part and it is it performs a monster attack which is basically kill yourself to kill the enemy and so zeromus has no flag to defend against that because it's an enemy attack you're not supposed to be able to use it um so you just one shot zeromus it's beautiful with fusoya who by the way you're not supposed to have in that fight it's so glitchy and i love everything about it um, <laughs> super glitchy so in, runs are my are my wheelhouse <laughs> so in terms of this fight mm -hmm. um i assume you know exactly how many hits you should you should have roughly for, for each of the sisters um well this is not gone exactly to plan Technically, Mindy should have died, and, uh, and then and then Sandy should have died, and then just be left with the middle sister. But uh, she revived a lot quicker than I thought she was going to. Do. Yeah, but usually, just... usually one Thundaga and a couple of hits from one of the boys will take care of them pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But thankfully, very nice recovery, and uh, they're gone. Uh, we gave the crystal to Golbez, and he's like, okay, and now we're going to kill Rosa. Bye! And you're like, excuse me? Revenge time. So Tella's going to use all of those spells he worked really hard to, uh, to learn. Doing so much damage on Golbez. Who's like five times taller. Oh yeah, he's real <laughs> tall. Yeah. Listen, when you're evil, you get to be five times <laughs> taller. It's part of the compensation package. <laughs> So I'm not quite sure why Cecil gave it up, but you know, sometimes you're just done with being that tall. Imagine trying to walk through the the doors in this in this world being right? that tall. You have to like look like crawl basically to get into a door. They're magic, so they just you know extend and contract as necessary. Or alternatively, <laughs> they're all big to accommodate the you know the evil people, and then you know lots of us could go through the smaller one. You mm -hmm. know, true, if we're true. smaller. So, uh, Tella, uh, in a final rage, was like, no, I'm casting a Meteo. I will use my very life force to make up for those nine missing MP. And he does, and it still doesn't kill Golbez. Uh, though it does quite injure him. To the point where he attacks Cecil and he's kind of like, I'll do it later, don't worry about it, I'm tired, bye! <laughs> and leaves, and you're like, excuse me? Hello? Uh, and he left his uh, his poor peon, I mean Kane, uh, behind, who um, <laughs> is having a great time. Lots of naps here. However, we know for sure that Tella is gone because he double dragon blinks out of existence. Yep, only you only die. Yeah, you only die in this game if you double dragon blink. Yeah, if you have not double dragon blinked uh, on, if you're in this screen. You cannot assume that character is dead, but if they double dragon blink, they're gone. That's it. They, they're really dead. They're not just plot dead. They're really dead. And of course, we are just in the nick of time. Wow. What a coincidence. What a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> Two sprites, one tile. So cute, look at them. They're so happy. And Kane's like, oh my god, I I got taken like my I had these bad feelings and they used them to control me. Because even now, like, I love you, Rosa, even though you're with Cecil. 
And she's like, well, that's fine. We're still your friend, though. Come help us. And he's like, okay, cool. I'll come help you. Let's, let's be friends again. So um, the Baron trio are together again, happy and no problems whatsoever. All betrayals are done with. Did someone just call Rosa a Karen in chat? How dare you? How dare oh, you? Dare. We love Rosa. Rosa makes delicious cookies. Mm-hmm. She does. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So now that Kane is on our side, uh, it is time for the next elemental lord. It is Barbariccia, and uh, she kind of she kind of mad. Um, thankfully, we do have Kane because uh, she goes into a spin, and during those spins, um, unless you've got a high enough agility, uh, you can't actually hit her. But hitting her with a jump will break her out of that. Uh, we have Cecil in a uh, Berserk phase again because he is one of our high damage dealers. And so long as he's hitting her outside of the tornado, he should be able to do a decent amount of damage. And should by be. decent, I mean noodle <laughs> arms. What is happening here? <laughs> That's that key word. He should be able to. He should be. Oh my god. Cecil. Cecil, you're Berserk. You have no excuse for this. <laughs> Even Kane is out damaging you. <laughs> <sighs> Anyways, once again, we have a boss who is using Tornado, but once again, we don't really care because... Actually, does Cecil cover when he's in a Berserk state? I don't know. I don't think he does, but we also don't care that much. <laughs> Not really. No. No, Cecil's the important one here, and Kane. As long as they're alive, we're pretty good. And again, we don't... Maybe the mechanics go. were changed. Wow. Wow, Sid. Rosa. Rosa, <laughs> what did you... What did he do? <laughs> she was not happy with him. It's no. <laughs> she was at like, least you're going to rest thing... or I'm, I'm going to make you rest. <laughs> at least the good thing is well, in this version that um, your agility matters a little bit less and you can still hit her a lot of the time. Even when she is in Tornado, you just do less damage. Yeah, which is great. We're okay we with did, still doing damage. We did acknowledge earlier that Rosa was a therapist, so I mean, the sure. whole, you need a rest mm. or I will make you rest, kind of fits. Mm -hmm. It does, yeah. Why? You should know better, Sid. You should know better. Okay, so uh, she is displeased that we defeated her and is like, well, that's fine. This tower is going anyways, and you're in it, so bye! And leaves because she's the, you know, Elemental Lord of Wind, so leaves. <laughs> she can fly away. <laughs> also, we get another cutscene spell, which is teleport. Yeah. Uh -huh. So yes, Rosa does not and will never learn uh, that spell um, until we have done that particular fight. So, but that's okay. We can exit now. We're going to use it all the time. We actually do use it occasionally. So no. we're finding. So we're <laughs> glossing over that. Um, we have found out, so Golbez has gotten the four crystals and we're like, heck, what are we going to do? We can't stop him. And Kane's like, well, actually, um, yeah, Kane come back and well, actually is us, which is just get out of here. So he does advise us that there is another set of crystals. There is an underground where uh, more people live. And uh, there's another four set of crystals there. So it's actually eight crystals and Golbez needs all eight. So we still have a chance. We can do it. Yeah, airship. So- um, Airship music so good. Right? Oh, I love the airship music. So we have uh, been given a rock. It is called a key, but let us be clear, it is a rock. And we are gonna toss a rock down a well and uh, it's gonna cause an earthquake. It's a rock that looks like a key. Yeah. Yes. Or a key yes. that looks like a rock. Mm. Mm. Key that looks like Dwayne Johnson. Mm. <laughs> God, that'd be so awesome. I you just see him those. going down, being like, no. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> if it was Dwayne the Rock Johnson, he could like jump out again. Let's be real here. <laughs> he jumped down, caused an earthquake, and hopped back out, being like, my job here is done. I do kind of like it though. You drop a magma rock and you get a little volcanic explosion. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is so good. So here we are. We're in the underground. We brought our airship underground, which is a great idea, as always. And piloted right in the middle of this attack between uh, the Red Wings and their airships and these unknown tanks who must be friends because they're fighting our enemy. Um, and I'm sure our airship is totally fine. The best thing to do when two enemies are surrounding you and blasting at you is to totally stay in that one spot. It's just, yeah, just stay there and let them keep <laughs> doing it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we uh, just got Sid back and his lovely airship, and now we exploded it on him. Sorry. Whoopsie. So, thankfully, um, even though we're not too good to our transportation, we're all okay. We've made it. Um, we just kind of crash landed our airship. It's fine. It happens. It happens. That's why we have airship insurance. <laughs> I was just thinking about that. I was just like, <laughs> do you have insurance for that thing? <laughs> Would they even cover, like, accidentally, you know, standing in between two weapons? <laughs> I'm just imagine that call for the insurance agent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah, this we is not part of your plan. We accidentally kind of ended up standing still in the middle of a little war going on. That's fine. You, we cover that, right? It's just a little scratch. Awkward. <laughs> so we're here. We're like, hey, crystals, how are they doing? And they're like, yeah, actually, Golbez has gotten two of them. But don't worry. We've protected ours. There's no problems. And then you hear evil laughter because, of course, they have creepy dolls. And <laughs> this is one of this is a really good remaster track because it sounds like a broken record, and right? it's just it so perfectly matches. I love it. <laughs> I don't like this fight or this music. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Well, I don't like the fight, but the music <laughs> I think is extremely fitting hilariously like this track is literally called dense and calcabretta but for me it's lugay's music not the doll <laughs> <laughs> don't know why because it plays there as well so uh yeah it's super fun um so yeah here we have uh creepy dolls um can we stop them from becoming big doll in this version you can but um it's not worth it yeah no it's not worth it So we are uh, just going to kill a bunch of them. They're going to become the big doll, and we're going to continue attacking them. That flame sword, once again, coming to help us. Yeah, I love this music. I mean, the old music, the music before him was nice, too. Yeah, no, no. This is, <laughs> <laughs> this is the good stuff. <laughs> that was creepy dolls, which we don't have time for. The creepy dolls merged into one creepier doll. And that's now it's worse. Gone. <laughs> now it's gone. Yes. Now it's gone, yes. Yes, person in chat, they are somehow creepier in Final Fantasy XIV. I notably do not fight that fight often. <laughs> 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 I don't like it in Eureka either. So here we go. We have uh, killed the dolls, and who should show up being like, hey, it was me all along, Golbez. Um, so we are going to have to fight him ourselves this time. And we don't have Medio. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. But that's okay, because um, we're going to destroy the Oh, my God. I did not know we outsped the, the paralyzed. That's real good. Yeah, you get a little bit extra time here, which is really, really good because um, that makes this Cecil was good. really, really low on HP. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, because I know you can't attack Golbez. He's literally you just can't do any damage until the cutscene plays out. But so it is also so technically possible to have Kane stay in the air, but the timing is so much harder than it is in the SNES version. But it happened once. Oh, I bet it was real cool. Yes. No, yes, wait, it was. Wait, wait, wait. It, if you can't attack, then... Oh. oh yes. Why did Mist Breath show up? You know what? Sometimes you're paralyzed and a Mist Dragon shows up. You know, totally normal. If, that's what usually happens when I'm paralyzed. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hey, look! Hey! It's our gal, Rydia! Bestest girl ever. Yeah. 
all grown up, got some summons, ready to actually kick some bug. Too bad we don't use them in this battle. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's fine. We, we've got a fire sword. We don't need them. Because Golbez hates fire. Also, for those in chat bringing up the DS version, everything is freakishly hard in the DS version. Mm -hmm. There's a reason I never recommend it as a casual game. If I, you, I told, yeah. Go ahead. If you play the 3D version, um, the DS quote unquote version on Steam, they do have a more normal mode. Mm hmm. <laughs> Please tell me that's what it's actually called. More normal mode. I wish. That would have been <laughs> the best. Yeah, it's still real hard, but what was just the default uh, version becomes the hard mode. Which, thank goodness, because I, when I played it, there was no PC version, and I finished same. it, but I didn't like it. <laughs> yep, same. Did not enjoy that. So uh, we cannot just cast teleport in there and go back into the room and get our crystals. So we are actually going to have to go and retrieve it. Um, but for now, we're getting some supplies, which is some uh, mage gear, and we're also going to get some chests here. Um, oh, we don't get the... Uh... Oh, we will on the way back down. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. So uh, a lot of really good items here. We're not going to get all of them, of course, because we don't need all of them. But uh, things like the Dwarf Axe, that elixir, all really useful. And we don't have to buy them. And that Power Armlet is going to do work for us. <laughs> oh, it is. It is so good. We uh, Those are all items we pick up in the, uh, the Super Nintendo version as well. And they are excellent. That, that power armlet increases your attack when it's equipped, and it's, oh, we loves it. We also love this free healing pot. It's very necessary after that fight. <laughs> also, chat, I don't think we could let the creepy hand do anything. It just did what it wanted, and we were very, very sad about it. Somehow, though, still less creepy than the dolls. I don't know. Uh, I, I, can, I can maybe tolerate doll, but just a hand walking around like like thing from the Adams family. It's that just, may be a little bit on the But you know. it's just, you know, it's the thing. That's normal. That's totally great. If, if y'all could not focus though. fire Rosa, that'd be great. <laughs> she can handle it. She's totally fine. Yeah, now we can back row glitch Kane, exactly. Which is definitely still in this version. Listen, the Super Nintendo has a lot of glitches, and we love that about that game. I'm not someone who thinks glitches make a game broken. I think they are part of the charming nature of a lot of these games. It, it's one of the reasons a lot of us keep playing a lot of those games is these glitches and we use them and it's fun. Mm -hmm. So, And there's always, you know, if you're speedrunning, there's always glitchless versions if you don't want to use them. This is true. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's even um, there's a category that uh, Ellie made that's all bosses in yes. for FF4, which is actually, I think they're the only ones that run it. I think so. I, I There used to be other people who ran it. I remember there was a small subset of the community who would run it, but it's essentially a meme category, even though it's a full game category because nobody runs it. It's rough though, because it does include yeah. the summon bosses and things like that. So yeah. Yep. So uh, for a question in chat, what is the back row glitch? So um, at least in the Super Nintendo version, um, well, in this version as well, you do less damage from the back row, but you also take less damage. Egg. Egg. Were you surprised by Why the egg? Why are you away from a mystery egg? It could be anything. It's a mystery. It, could, it is a mystery, and we'd like to leave it a mystery. It could even be a boat. <laughs> I was going to say that. <laughs> it's just bees. You open it up and it's just bees. Not the bees. The bees. Anyways, to continue the back row glitch. So yeah, back row, uh, more defense, but also less attack. Unless you have one of those back row weapons, which um, not everyone can use. The back row glitch um, allowed you to uh, quite easily, basically you just swapped your weapon to a weapon with a uh, back row capability during battle. And the game would never take that flag off. So you could put someone like Kane in the back row 
with his excessive amount of, like, he has a lot of HP and defense anyways. And so if you put him in the back row, he becomes not invincible, but incredibly more protected. And with the back row glitch, you put back on the uh, the weapon, which is a front row, row weapon, but it still thinks you're using a back row weapon because the flag never came off. Um, but the uh, dwarf axe is one of the few back row weapons that Kane and like Cecil and such can use. So uh, no, actually Cecil can use bow and arrow. So yeah, uh, we have a lot of fun with that in the speed runs for the Super Nintendo version because. Yeah. <laughs> Hits hard, can't be hit. Um, we're gonna keep doing that. All right, Dr. Lugie, let's go. <gasps> no. See, this is Lugie's music. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was Joe, or, uh, Hojo. <laughs> no, how dare you? How dare you? <laughs> Hojo is the worst. He, the only thing worse than creepy dolls is Hojo. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, okay. I, 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 agree I agree with that. With that. Especially, final, yeah. agree Especially with that. in the remaster. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the remake, yeah. rather. Oh, yeah. yeah. I gotta finish that. Anyways. <laughs> I'm still not done that. Anyways, uh, that's fine. But yeah, as a speedrunner of the PC version of Final Fantasy VII, we know Hojo can go away forever. But yes, uh, this is Luge. He has brought his fighting machine, uh, Barnabas, who uh, does not like the fact that we killed Luge. Uh, if we kill Barnabas first, Luge will pilot him directly and kind of use him like a Gundam. Um, neither is a good option, but it's faster this way. Um, our big damage dealer in phase two here is uh, Yang, because Luge, uh, and actually Barnabas as well, are weak to lightning. So one of those claws, like we picked up earlier, equip it on Yang, and we're just doing, you know, oh, over you a thousand jerk. damage every hit. So uh, the key thing here is to just keep Yang awake. He was a big jerk, and he killed my berserk. That wasn't very nice. We no, didn't like that. I no, don't. no. Yeah, we don't. Luge isn't great, but Luge. It doesn't feel as evil. Hojo knows what he's doing and is doing it on purpose and gives no, it just does not care whatsoever. So, we, no, we don't like Hojo. But we got Bio, which is a really, really great spell. Too bad we're never gonna see it again. Nope. Also, I'm sorry for the little bit of flashing here. It's still not as bad as the SNES version. Oh my god, you have oh, disco. True, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have the disco walk when you're doing it in the Super Nintendo version because it's a full screen flash, uh, but you still don't cure it in that version either. But uh, this is just some crunchy floor, as uh, the lovely Scala Kitty puts it. <laughs> just stepping on some Legos. Yeah, it's no, oh, no, why would you? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you hurt these characters enough? <laughs> <laughs> so we got the key. Um, we are trying to uh, stop the lasers here because uh, there's not much the tanks can do. Um, the dwarf tanks can do to help us while those lasers are being fired. So uh, we are trying to uh, stop them and try and, you know, get some crystals. In charge of the lasers are these very ineffectual goblin captains. Um, not sure why they're captains, but that's fine. We we took care of them. And then they uh, blew up everything. So Yang is like, don't worry about it. I got this. Get out of here. And like, punts us out of the room and locks the door. Uh, so bye, Yang. Bye forever. That emoji's all over. Sad emojis. F's in chat. Bye, Yang. I'll miss you. You were mm -hmm. a good yeah. HP sponge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sadness. And now we also get the sad music. We know we have to be sad because the sad music's playing. Yes. At least it full healed me. <laughs> but now the sad music's over with. Yeah, so we're good. We can be happy again. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, wow. Still better than Dark Elf cures you afterwards. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So now we, um, in true RPG tradition, have to walk all the way back down. Um, why can't we use an emergency exit or teleport or something, you ask? Well, 
There is a cutscene right at the bottom of this tower, and the programmers wanted to ensure that you wouldn't just teleport out of the tower and Egg. miss that. So what's the best way to ensure you don't miss your cutscene? Deactivate teleport in this tower. There, there was an egg, by the way. Yeah. <gasps> egg! Egg. Egg. Very important. I did see I did see this in chat that uh Kane did get his revenge by pushing Cecil. <laughs> oh. I mean you're not wrong. Oh my god. <laughs> Everyone in this game is just so petty. It's just like, oh you hit me? Oh, I'm coming back <laughs> later. This you're is not Final Fantasy it. for the high school years. <laughs> <laughs> high school years. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, though, the most mature characters in this game are the the five and the and seven year olds, like, which is terrifying. <clears throat> now, now I want to see a ninety sitcom intro with the characters of Final <laughs> Fantasy. Oh, <laughs> that would be amazing. It's like, oh hey, oh look, Kane is brainwashed again. Oh darn! You get the canned laughter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That would be both amazing and awful. Also, I love how they fade out just before they hit the end of the map. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, the ingenuity of these games to how to make the scenes they wanted to do work with the lower technology is just fabulous. I just love it so much. It's silly. You look at it and you go, oh, I know why they faded out. There are walls coming up. It's so yeah. <laughs> So yeah, we we uh, were just saved by Sid. He showed up in his airship and caught us. Um, but now he's just like, yeah, you folks, you gotta get out of here. Get to Baron. Um, you gotta stop this. And uh, hops out of his own airship uh, so he can bomb um, the entrance. Bye. So not only did we just lose Yang, we just lost Sid as well. Yep. Yes. F's and chat for Sid as well. Yeah, F's and chat. Too bad we don't get any sad music. Mm -hmm. How do I know I'm supposed to be sad? Yeah. Give it a minute. Mm -hmm. We're hearing earthquake sounds first. That is true. Also, I love the effect they put when they're uh, doing that. Looks so nice. No, okay, never mind. No we'll sad, be music, sad, but we don't have to be sad. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. We're going to uh, Baron. Also, best quality of life update. Fight me. The fact you don't have to hit those switches to open those doors anymore. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. so, oh. oh, my God. When I noticed that, I was like, that's it. This is the ultimate version. I think the first time I played this, I still went off and did that. Not knowing. <laughs> she did. It's it's what you have to, but I, I had to try it, and I was rewarded for my efforts, and have been blessed ever since. Oh, um, I get a mashing break now. Thank you. <laughs> oh yes. Oh, thank gosh. Yeah. So here, we, Sid's like, go to Baron. You've got to get to the you know Tower of Babel, but you're gonna need to get the uh, lovely water thing, which named the hovercraft. Hovercraft. I lost the word for a minute. Uh, you need the hovercraft to go to the upper Babel. Um, so we just showed up. We're like, yes, it's said to upgrade this. And they're like, oh, that old man, he's so great. And we're like, yep. <laughs> Nothing bad happened to him at all. No, he's totally <laughs> fine. <laughs> also, and just real uh, quick, oh yeah, real go quick ahead. I just want to say that, uh, you know, we do put these things on YouTube. Hello, YouTube, if you're watching us on YouTube with the VODs. Hello. Uh, if you're interested in checking out our live content, we have our GDQ Hotfix every starting weeknights at 7 p.m. Eastern, weekends at 1 p.m. Eastern. And, you know, also, we have this uh, thing called the Highlights Channel. It's kind of a channel that features a lot of highlights of the week of Hotfix shows. So if you're really interested in checking out some of those, Esteban does a great job of editing them. They're great. You can type in uh, exclamation mark highlights command. The latest highlights was... Yes, kiss. Why do you get to go first? <laughs> that's not how that's supposed to work. It did. That is how it worked, though. They decided they were going to go first, and so they did. I disagree. Oh, don't buy two of them. That would be bad. <laughs> buy three of them. No! They cannot be stopped! <laughs> 
So yeah, small change to the last route, um, getting an ice weapon for Cecilia as well, because okay. Ruby, 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 Ruby. <laughs> but that Ruby leg. does Ruby things. That leg. I mean, it that leg is great. Us. That leg is great, but yeah. Ruby does Ruby things, and the faster we can get rid of Ruby, the better. <laughs> yeah, we we do not want Ruby to do Ruby things. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, Ruby hurts. Ruby is just... Rubicante is a mean fight in every version. I don't think there's any version where you just cheese Ruby. No. It's... it's yeah, it's every day is leg day when Ruby is involved, and we respect that. Ruby's just, you know, doing his job. Being respectful about trying to kill you. Which... I just realized that... I just realized that Rubiconte would actually be a great pet name. A great what name? Pet name, like for a dog or a cat. Oh, <laughs> you just call them Ruby, and they're like, oh, Ruby, and you're like, yes, for Rubiconte, and they're like, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say I anything. Mean, I name. <laughs> yeah. I do have a cat named Cecil, so... Nice. Yeah. I named my rabbit uh, Stormageddon Dark Lord of All, which is a Doctor Who <laughs> reference. You just call him Stormy. But... It's also honestly very fitting for your rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> All rabbits are evil, and we love them for that. I'm just saying. Oh, no, Edge. Oh, no. They also, changed the that line, and I'm no. sad. Was it flame? Let me show you how. Let me show you how. Yes. Uh, <laughs> it was so awful, but it was, it was the best line. And they removed it. Which, fair. I feel like... I yeah, uh, I feel like some of those bad translations, maybe for the sake of the meme, maybe should have been there or something. Just like added a text, you know. I mean, at least yeah. we got Spoonie Bard, because yeah. that would have been a Bard deal breaker. Is, Spoonie Bard is actually how it translated in the Japanese. <laughs> that was the term, like <laughs> the Japanese term they use actually translates to Spoonie. Spoonie is a real term. If you look it up, it's not just a meme thing, and you're just like, oh my gosh, it's just not in use anymore because it's old so it's uh yeah it's super great was it flame i will sh let me show you how it's just bad grammar egg <laughs> yeah egg egg now we just hope we get back attacked by an egg because that's just bad news. or surprise attack sorry I mean, if I would see an egg, I'd be a little surprised in the middle of a dungeon like this. Fair yeah, enough. it just shows up. Well, that's why it's so <laughs> surprising when you get surprised by an egg, because you're like, how did I get surprised by an egg? I mean, with giant, with giant demons and bombs and ogres and cheetahs, egg. Egg. Once again, we're running from everything, but since we have uh, Edge now, uh, running away is a lot happier. Yeah, he's got a nice fast ATV. <laughs> there you go. There, everyone. Back yes, back. egg. <laughs> You're like, how did this egg sneak up on me? It's a giant egg and it's not doing anything. Well, remember how we said earlier that this game listens to us? Oh, it knows. Uh-huh, it does, it knows. It knows. Like when you don't pick up the safety life, it'll ensure you should have picked up the safety life. It's not even a safety life anymore. That's the Antarctic wind now. <laughs> yeah, I know. In my I notes, still... I literally still call it the life chest. <laughs> what is it? It's the life chest. I'm sorry. It's the safety life. Ambush. Oh, How no. dare you. How could they do that to you personally? How many eggs have we seen so far? Four? Five? Something like that. I think five. I think five. Not enough. Give us more eggs. See, we're just gonna kind of steal some of um, Edge's stuff. It's fine. He's fine. I thought you we'll said give him we're some just other gonna... stuff in exchange. I heard you say we're just gonna steal some egg stuff, and I'm like, <laughs> egg stuff? How we're running away? And then I realized you said Edge. <laughs> Too much egg talk, my goodness. <laughs> oh, hey, it's Edge's parents. I'm sure nothing possibly can go wrong. Instead of instead of TikTok, it's now egg talk. Egg talk. <laughs> we will drag you down to the Hades. Oh, no. 
No, my parents. It's okay. They're just a little monster. They're still good. They're still good. Yeah, they're fine. They're fine. They're fine. Yeah, also, we don't attack them. We're, we're just gonna chill and defend because you do not need to fight this fight in any version. Because it's, it'll just auto end after a certain amount of time and it's way faster to just let it do so. So thankfully, uh, for a moment, they regain their senses and they're like, yeah, we, we're not human anymore. Uh, bad stuff happening. Please stop us because we're not gonna remain, you know, cognizant of who we really are for much longer. And, uh, and they just go away. They're like, bye. And Edge is like, oh, oh no. I didn't like you before, Ruby. And Ruby's like, I had no part in this. I would never have done that. Um, that was Luge. So Luge confirmed as bad as Hojo. Okay, we are gonna quick save it here just because I don't wanna go through that, that cutscene over again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. And so I did. Yep. Yeah. I, did, I did see in chat that battle before him was, was someone who said that was sad. Yeah, mm -hmm. we all can agree with that. Mm hmm. And then the next one, dang, Edge is gonna need to go to therapy after that fight. Well, luckily we have someone with her that. We do, we do. Yeah, and yeah. she also has great cookies. This is true, great mm -hmm, cookies. Mm -hmm. So uh, as you would expect from someone with that fabulous leg, um, Rubicante does not like ice. Only when his cape is open though. If his cape is closed, uh, he actually likes ice. He's like, no, I'm fine, I'm protected. Um, so while his cape is open, we are going to attack him with as much uh, ice as we can. Of course, he infernoed uh, Cecil. That's not very nice. But every character other than Rosa has some sort of ice, either weapon or spell. And we're not using Rosa to attack anyways. We're using her to keep people alive and do that sort of thing, which is incredibly useful. Um, because as you can see, Ruby just likes to one-shot people. Um, an interesting mechanic is that if you actually cast a fire on Rubicante while his cope, uh, cape is closed, he will cast Life 1 on the party. Just cause. He's just like, oh. Oh, I got you. <laughs> You're like, thanks, man. Yeah, it, it just needs to be an even fight. You know? Yeah, exactly. But like, yeah. how would you... Anyways. Uh, but it is one of those things that I'm pretty sure it has been maintained in this version. I feel like I tested it. I would re that would require also, we, also, we get to see the summons, which we rarely do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this oh, yeah. is the only time in the entire run that you're going to see really? a summon. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we, we use more of them in the uh, Super Nintendo version because um, she has Titan, and that is a really excellent because until she gets Quake, so uh, it, we get some that? nice use out of that. Seriously, Ruby, wow. please. This is what we're talking about when we say Ruby is mean like that. The rest of his attacks are basically nothing. And then he just Inferno someone, which is a one shot. And it's basically awful no matter who he does. But it is actually kind of especially bad when it's evil here. Come on. You Come on, it. show me that leg. Show me that leg. We need the leg. Please. Show us. Was it leg? <laughs> Let me show you. <laughs> hey. There we go. There we go. Well fought. But I shall rise again. That's nice. You're gone for now. So. Yeah. And Edge, of course, has earned his nap. He is having a uh, rotten day. <laughs> Poor Edge. Mm -hmm. So, at least he knows what happened. But now his uh, his royal court, as it was, shows up and is like, Hey, come on. Let us help. We're going to help you. And it's too late. They're here way too late. So Edge sends them back to protect because Edge is going to stay with the party and help out because he now sees it is bigger than just his kingdom, uh, which has been destroyed. Um, so he's going to help save the world. So does Edge have, is, uh, with the front of Edge's right, is that part of the cape or does Edge just have a really, really nice beard? 
<laughs> it's part of the game. <laughs> I need to see this now because I don't know what you're talking about. That'd be really cool, though. Yeah, it's like his ninja mask, basically. Oh, yeah, yeah that's his yeah, ninja mask, yeah. Edge yeah. is too young to grow that nice of a beard. We leave that to the old folks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, Edge is one of the babbies. I was gonna say, uh, Cecil and Kane are like some of the oldest in this game at like 21. Mm -hmm. You're like, please, please stop. Oh, Cecil's 20, Kane is 21. Uh, let's see. Oh, sorry, Edward is uh, 24. Oh, yeah, I forgot Edward is a little older. Mm hmm. Oh, Edge is 26. <laughs> womp womp. Womp womp. <laughs> He's oh still God. too young to grow a proper beard. You have to be Sid's age. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or, or Fusia's age. No, then you're just a mop. <laughs> uh, we love our mop. Hopefully we don't see too much mop today. <laughs> no, no, that would be sad. We would not like that. Okay, so back we come to say, hey, so, um, we have not retrieved any of the crystals. They're like, that's okay, there's one left. We've locked it away. Uh, you go get it before Golbez can, because that can't possibly go wrong. So we are going to go to the sealed cave, which is skipped in the Super Nintendo version because it is not fun, but is actually a really good place to do some leveling, because the, uh, Every single door in the sealed cave is trapped. Uh, so you have to fight a monster and they give pretty decent experience. So it's not awful that you have to go fight it, but uh, it's not the best either. Also nice to see Sid's alive. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. surprise. He didn't, it's totally he didn't okay. double dragon blink, so he wasn't really dead. Yep. He was fake dead. Was I get another dead. mashing break. Mm hmm. Mashing breaks, best breaks. And this is, I, I love all the different, like, Sid fixing things cutscenes, because there's always just some sort of shenanigans going on. And in this one, he's like, okay, Edge, you're not just standing around. You punk, you're going to come and help. And Edge is just like, I don't listen to you. And you just watch them. Just They don't even say a single word, and you just know what's happening. He's 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 a lot less funky to Edge in this one than he is in the, in the next one. <laughs> Oh, that, yeah, and that in, yeah. in Final Fantasy V, the same thing. It's it's just so comical. And so it's not necessarily off, but it feels, it makes you smile after all that. Yeah, exactly. You're just like a little bit of levity before we get back to it. Yeah, five relies a lot more on humor, I think, than a lot of the other um, Final, early Final Fantasies do, which is oh, one of the does. things that, you know, makes it great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's yeah, silly, sometimes. it's lighthearted, and it does not take itself seriously. Mm -mm. Really? Really, game? Oh. Really? Oh, you got ambushed. Oh, no. <laughs> this game, I'm telling you, folks, it knows. It knows. We are going to make a little bit of a sidetrack here for something very special, though. Mm, sidetracking. Yes. Yes. We need this item. So we are going to pop in briefly into the Silk Cave. So this is a completely optional uh, dungeon where, um, spoiler alert, uh, Yang's hanging out. He's having a nap. Uh, well earned. Um, so he, once again, no double dragon blink, so he was fine. Um, he's taking a nap down at the bottom and the Sylphs are protecting him. And they're like, no, we're protecting Yang. He's ours now. And um, so you can actually then go visit his wife. She gives you a frying pan and you come down and hit him to wake him up because the 90s. I mean, that, yeah, I mean. Yeah. That mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. how I wake up in the morning. Your yeah, wife hits you with a frying pan? <laughs> yeah. Someone just, you know, comes in, comes into my, you know, room <laughs> and just hits me with a frying pan. You just, wake up. <laughs> you just get that thwack. Yeah. I thought that's how everyone woke up. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So uh, we are purposely opening this chest uh, because we want to get the item inside, which is the Avenger's Sword. 
And this sword is uh, OP. It is very powerful and we love it. It, whoever has it equipped, who can equip it, which is basically Cecil and Kane, uh, is automatically berserked. Plus it has some of the highest attack in the game as well. So it is a very good sword and it is gonna help carry us through a lot of this run. But we're did, also getting, sorry? Did Cecil attack Rosa? Yes. yes. This is the Be darkest timeline. Yeah, this is the darkest this timeline. Is, it is the darkest timeline. Yeah, yeah, like we say, he's he's evil. He's just taken. He's He got the uh, paladin from his uh, inheritance, not his uh, goodness. But we are, this is where we start doing some strategic uh, experience farming. Um, so we are not going to need every character going forth. It is far too time consuming to level up every uh, of the five characters you're going to have at the end game. It's just, we don't have time for that. So we're going to make sure that we have two characters at the, the higher levels. And one of those uh, being Kane. So we're gonna make sure he gets the experience in most cases, and uh, we're gonna go from there. I appreciate the fact that as soon as you talk, start talking about the Avengers sword, you also talk about Endgame. Right? Okay, okay. <laughs> Damn. It's nothing it took but me way too. longer to get that than it should have. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just a little focused, it's fine. <laughs> That's good, you're doing great. So here we are fighting trapdoors. They are literal trapdoors. They are doors that are traps. They have mouths. They're just like, Ooh. I just realized they're like Ultra's mouths. <laughs> you would they compare are. it to an Ultra's mouth. Of course I would. <laughs> Hello, it's very on brand. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we don't need anyone else. We just need Kane and the Avenger sword. And because it does grant him berserk, it also means he's faster. So he can just outspeed these doors, which they are, they target you, they do a search, and then they just kill you. So, and even if the worst should happen and he doesn't outspeed the doors, we have the auto save. So uh, it's no big deal. That is nice to see in this, is the auto save. I'm not sure mm -hmm. if we've talked about that, but that makes <laughs> yeah. a lot of difficult situations because when you were playing this as a kid, like you always had to use the save points. When yeah. you saw the save point, you're like, oh no. Natara was, was like, the, the, the master of the safety save. Yes, I yeah. still am. <laughs> I still just safety save all over the place. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, I love you just, that. <laughs> yeah, it's it, not away. so much in this one, of course, because, you know, auto save. But what if I want to be a little bit closer? Why safety save? when, Or, like, why use the auto save when I can just safety save in front of a boss? So for world records, you really only need four doors, apparently, um, doing a little bit extra because this is kind of like marathon. So uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are, are the four doors named after members of the doors? No, that'd be kind of cool. <laughs> wow. No, stop doing that. Can't stop, won't stop. All the doors. We're, we're almost done with doors, I swear. Oh, this cave. It is... It's fine. Like, let's be real. There's nothing wrong with this cave. It's just... It's slower than any of the rest because if you're playing casually to get through and search all the rooms, you've got to fight every door. So again, really great experience. Um... But even if you're fighting the minimum amount of doors, it still means you've got to fight a bunch of doors. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, definitely enjoyed uh, just teleporting out of the uh, dwarf castle and just being <laughs> like, hey, it's a crystal here. Yeah, I miss that. Because <laughs> no of the way they programmed it, the crystal room of the dwarf palace after it was used for the crystal, is it's linked with the one in the sealed cave. So it was like it was basically the same room because you're not supposed to be able to get back to that version of the room again. So when you do get back to that version, when you teleport, it would bring you back because the crystal would still be there. 
but only if you did it immediately. Otherwise, you couldn't just teleport. It was just so great. So here we are. We have gotten the darkness crystal. The last crystal. We have saved the day. Uh, Golbez has not gotten all eight crystals. We're good. We got this. Yeah. Nothing bad could happen now, right? No, nope. exactly. So apparently the walls got jealous that we were just fighting the doors and they decided they wanted to join the party. So uh, we are fighting the evil wall. Demon wall, sorry. It's the demon wall. Yeah, and I'm just going to sit here and let things happen. <laughs> yeah, the, the evil walls in Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. Uh, in the original version of this, it's uh, evil wall, I think, as well. Yeah, the Super it is. Nintendo version. It is, yeah. Well, while I have a free second while this fight's going on, I do would like everyone to know that Summer Games Done Quick is coming up relatively soon. June 26th to July 3rd. Prize submissions are open. You can go to gamesdonequick.com for more information. I did not realize that fight was going to be so fast. That's so real okay. Real quick, Flame Fatales will be having its next oh, you still have time. Running event. Flame Fatales in late August. Woo. Type exclamation mark FF in chat or go to gamesdonequick.com slash Flame Fatales for more information. Yeah, and, and like I'm seeing FF. in ch like I'm seeing in chat at least it isn't the wall from FF12. Oh my gosh. Oh. That wall still gives me nightmares. <laughs> so we have defeated the wall. It said I want to be like a door and lasted almost as long. Um, <laughs> so now we leave. Once again though, like the Tower of Babel, we cannot just warp out of this place because we are not allowed to miss skip the very critical cutscene at the end. So teleport does not work. Warp actually does work, but now that we have our, our dash, it's basically the same. Unless you're a really super fast menuer, you're just walking out for fun. Yeah, plus I was trying warp, so hard. Was, go ahead. Warp will take you uh, to other rooms that you've been in as well, so... Oh, will it? The best idea always, yeah. It'll take That's... you backwards in order, so if you've investigated a lot of the rooms on the top of that particular area, it'll take you in and out a few times. Does it do that with all of, in, in the original yeah. game too? Jeez, yeah. I didn't know that. Nice? Question mark? <laughs> Spoilers, it was not nice. <laughs> no. I was trying to think earlier, when we fought the wall, I was trying to think of like, can I make a reference to the horrible wall joke I made earlier, or the doors joke. I mean, maybe the doors after the... <laughs> oh, I just gosh. couldn't think of anything, because I don't think... I know there's an album called The Wall, but... <laughs> yeah. Speaking of Cecil, he just jumped up here and scared the ever-loving heck out of me. <laughs> oh, hi, Cecil! <laughs> Everyone say hi to RPG Chick's uh, cat, or one of her cats. Cecil! Hi, Cecil. He's come to sit in the basket and look out the window while we fight for our lives. I mean, as one does. As one does. Yeah. <laughs> that is uh, fabulous. So, um, as completely was unexpected, we had no idea what was going to happen. Kane uh, definitely not inevitably betrayed us again. Because um, we got to the end with the crystal, and he's like, oh, oh, I think Goldas is trying to control me. And they're like, fight it. You can do it. He's like, don't worry. I did it. I fought it. Goldas had nothing. A spoiler alert, Golbez had done it. And so he just <laughs> grabs the crystal and runs. And you're like, really, Kane? Come on now. Come on. you got to update your firewall. So uh, we have to come back once again and say, hey, so that crystal? Yeah, it's gone too. And they're like, well, all is not lost. The reason they want the Tower of Babel is to, you know, access the moon. And rumor, legend says that there is actually a ship to the moon uh, in the above world. And so, no. yeah, right? No. no. No, there's no way. So once again, we uh, pulls it out of bed being like, hey, hey, you haven't done enough today. Please fix our airship I again. I don't think I don't. There cannot be. Next thing you get, next thing you're gonna know that you're gonna tell me that that ship that goes to the moon is look, looks like a fish. 
Yeah, there's, there's no, no way. way. No, exactly. It could not possibly. I still think it looks like a, like a like a bird, but hey, whatever. <laughs> oh. Speaking of, anyways, I'm not gonna. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> no, I have some 14 rage about the whale. Uh, <laughs> which I will bring up here. The expansion's too new. Um, but yeah, so we are getting a drill put onto the front of the ship so we can drill out of the underground that we just finished sealing. <laughs> the underground entrance is having a bad day. And so uh, now we've got uh, an upgraded airship, so out we're gonna go. And we're gonna head up to Mysidia because who would know about mystical, magical things? The Tower of Mages, or the Town of Mages. So we're gonna see if the Elders got any info for us. He probably does. Maybe there, maybe there is a Tower of Mages in the Town of Mages. There could be. Yeah. There, there's no way they couldn't be. Okay, let's... Yeah. Once again, blowing up a mountain for our airship. Like, this cannot be environmentally good in any way. No. No. I disagree that I couldn't land on that spot. <laughs> yeah, Same. right? I thought you just hit the button to lift off again. I, I do that too many times casually. Same. So we show up and like immediately the elder's like, oh my God, you're back. We knew you would. It's the legend, the one that keeps being mentioned. We lovingly call it the long legend because you cannot skip it. You cannot make it go faster. And it just pops up. Good mashing break though. Mm -hmm. And we like those. Take care of your hands. Yeah, I was going to say the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. That's Very why I important. love also, my compression always, gloves. <laughs> always remember to hydrate as well. Chad. Yes, Always please. remember hydration is key. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So uh, the elders like it's time. We are going to pray and try and get the ship. So sure. And because they're actually mages, because, you know, and there's a legend. What should be buried in the dragon's maw. A dragon. But a dragon, exactly. How did you know? <laughs> Have you played this game before? Nope, never played it before. Sorry, you you're go. never gonna convince me that that doesn't look like a bird. That's a whale. It's got a tail fin and everything. No, that bright side is the beak and a, and a head feather. Oh my God, how could you do this to me? I thought we were friends. <laughs> <laughs> Natara will never be able to unsee that now. Oh, so mad. <laughs> Still a whale. It's a whale, darn it. The only version it has ever looked like a whale to me has been the 3DS version. I mean, isn't it called the lunar whale? <laughs> yes, yeah. but that could just be a colloquialism. It doesn't mean it's actually a whale. But it is actually a whale. How dare you? How dare you? Oh, Chad is inferring that it could either be a shrimp or a narwhal. I like the narwhal interpretation. I like narwhal, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's too big to be a shrimp. But maybe it could be. Could be a boat. Ooh. No, that'd be too powerful. Oh, let you park oh, no, it's, on the no, it's, no, it's it's not a boat because nothing bad happens when you're on this. Are you sure? Oh. Well, maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Can 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 I can I run, please? No, please. Next please. hello. <laughs> I also love that the lunar hair dryers still look like lunar hair dryers. Yes. Tell me those yes. are not hair yes. dryers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> lunar curtain, otherwise known er, as a moon veil. Very, very excellent item. Uh, one, it is a JP only item. Well, was a JP only item. Um, it, um, it and its compatriot. Uh, I, what's it called? I think it's just a light curtain. Is what's called a star veil. And both of them grant um, automatic. They give you uh, reflect. But the lunar curtain also gives you uh, at least temporary physical uh, evasion as well, which is. Very powerful. 
So here we are. The whole game has been leading up to this. Nothing else mattered but getting this one item of legend, a mop. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually a reason behind the name. So the Japanese... If you've ever seen this game before, if Fusoya dies, the way his... He just turns into a puddled beard, and he looks kind of like a mop. And the Japanese community actually refers to him as Uncle Mop. And so we loved that. So we stole it, obviously, because it's perfection. And so he is a mop. You just look at him. He's a mop. So, uh, yeah, he's going to hang with us. He's also I so love the, I love I love the emote of it. And I'm never I'm like, oh, that's the, that's it. That's his that's his that's the name now. Right? <laughs> uh, I think it's RP. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. One of my favorite emotes. It is a really good one. Yeah, from it RPG is. Limit Breaks channel. So good. So we have gotten our mop and so we're ready to leave. Um, he's like, yeah, there are people, we live on the moon. Um, there is a someone who was evil, one of our kind, and he's been sealed away, but he's trying to wake up and his influence is going to the star like to the uh blue planet and um he's been using his influence to control people uh, i just oh, i yeah. just thought of something amazing mm -hmm. this ship is the big whale right so mm -hmm. are we whalers on the moon that carry our harpoons <laughs> i think you're right though I was gonna put that in chat eventually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so great good. minds, great minds, <laughs> so good. But yeah, um, so Zemus uh, or Golbez has used the tower in order to summon the great beast, which was put there, uh, the giant of Babel, uh, which is a huge war machine, which is gonna destroy this planet. So we have to stop it because this is bad. We like our planet. It's where our stuff is. I, I, I find it interesting. We, we, we have an adventure story. We've talked a little bit about the end game and now we have a war machine. Oh, oh. <laughs> this, this war machine is less difficult though. <laughs> Why does this game hate mountains? Those mountains know what they did. <laughs> and we're not gonna bring up it. We're not, we can't bring it up again. It's too, too soon. So now we have the power of friendship and working together. Lally ho! Everyone is coming to help. They're like, no, we, this is our planet. We're gonna protect it. And so we come in airships and tanks, all your uh, old favorites who uh, were resting up until now show up. So if you- Except for Palom and Porum. Uh, they do show up as well. But they're, they, they got turned to stone. They can't. They got unturned. They got cured. They're okay now. They got beta. See, they're there. They're on an airship and everything. That's what happens <laughs> when you have a powerful white mage who actually wants to save the children. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Their arms are getting tired from holding that wall. Oh my god, chat brings up an excellent question. Is the giant of Babel a kaiju? That actually is a great question. <laughs> <laughs> that just hurt my soul. <laughs> <laughs> Healed your soul, I think is what you mean. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think I think it would be better to ask if it's a weapon, because, you know, we have, what, ultimate weapon, ruby weapon. <laughs> no. no. Emerald oh. weapon. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. If I don't have to fight and deal with Terminus Tertius again. Anyway, sorry. I will never stop with the 14 references. You can't make me. So we are now inside the giant. We are going to destroy it from the inside uh, because it is obviously too powerful to defeat uh, regularly. Uh, our pals are going to help and uh, distract it while we thankfully do not shrink, but do go inside the, the giant. Uh, in the Super Nintendo version, the giant of Babel was 
one of the most important parts of the uh, any percent no 64 run because this is where we would manipulate a grind fight and use one of the many glitches uh the life glitch um in order to get more experience than we were supposed to um unfortunately that doesn't exist here and we're gonna do other fun things instead i don't believe we're doing any sort of grind no, or a minor grind? We, we, we did our grind. Yeah, I thought so. So we are gonna not- We're just gonna pray real hard because this, the worst part of the run is coming up. <laughs> yes, yes. The hardest fight in this game is not the final boss. We can handle the final boss. Um, it is the, actually the next boss fight, which is the hardest one, and it is incredibly difficult. So everyone, let's, uh, send RPG Chick your energy, because we need it. There's a lot of RNG here. Yep, and I can just get completely one-shot by it, and with the game is just like, oh, you, you were gonna do stuff? That's really funny. If anime has taught me anything, I'm gonna lift my, uh, arms up in the air give you my energy. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, one more thing we need to do. This. Yeah. Well, Quick let's please put our important people in the back row. And our yeah. important people in this question are Fusoya. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, well, now we break. Here we go. You can do it. I expect a, uh, a good I fight. can do it, but is the game going to let me do it? That's yes, it a completely is. different problem. This game has never betrayed us. Keep in mind, the game can hear us. No, it's never betrayed us. It loves us, and it would never hurt us. Ever. Would it? Game. <laughs> so, this boss is really interesting. Uh, in how it works, because it's four bosses, but it's actually just one boss. So each of the bosses here carries through with some of the elemental weaknesses and some of the uh, tactics of their original fights, but it doesn't have all of them, um, because it is just one fight and there was only so much they could do on the Super Nintendo. Uh, because of that. And while they have changed and updated a lot of background stuff, um, they haven't outright changed many things in this. So um, a lot of that is still maintained. So um, we're using those elemental weaknesses to help us a lot. Uh, we used fire and such on, uh, actually we used elixirs and such on, um, <sighs> first one, Mylon Z, whose name I'm blanking on. Uh, now we have Kainazo, who again, weak, very weak to lightning. Uh, now we have our lovely friend Barbaricia. I think it's Ruby that's the mean one in this fight, or is it? Yep, yep, yeah, it's yep. Ruby's the real hard one, because of course, Ruby is last. So, why would you do that? It's fine. That's fine. <laughs> so, thankfully, Fusoya has not ev almost every spell in the game, and making him quite powerful and more MP than Tella had, at least. So we can do some real damage here. Getting that Lunar Curtain out, uh, which is co gonna come into real handy, especially coming up to this Ruby fight, because um, as we've seen before, um, we really get hurt by that Inferno spell, but it is reflectable. Which isn't going to do much to Ruby, but is going to keep Fu alive. There we go. Not scary at all. Eight more nope. HP than you need. Rizzo keeping Fu alive. Just as important as keeping his HP up is keeping his MP up. Because he does only have 190, and uh, the spells he's using are like 40 and 50 MP a pop. So, uh, very expensive MP wise.
Mm -mm. That's that's fine. Because there's only so much uh, HP that uh, the bosses have. So as long as we can keep Fu up at this point, this yes. should yes. Yes. That was a really clean fight. Good oh. work. <laughs> nice job. I am shaking. Holy shnikes. Yeah, yeah, that is <laughs> legit, though, the worst fight in this game. It is, uh, it's a hard fight in the Super Nintendo version, but not like this, because you've just leveled up a whole bunch, uh, in the Super Nintendo version, so you're, you're ready. We did like it! <laughs> yeah, like yeah! Whatever dragon is, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, the yep. D-Machine. GG's all around. Woo! I'd love to see chat with GG's as well. I see it slowly coming in. Okay. Yeah. All right. I think we're Lots good to go for events. the CPU fight. Let's go. Yeah. CPU. Let me get that for you. <laughs> oh, no. So, of course, the CPU is not unprotected. It has both an attack node and a defense mode. And we really do not care one whit about the attack mode. It does very little damage in the scheme of things. The restore node, though, as you just noticed, the defense node uh, really cures uh, CPU for a lot. And um, we can't deal with that. We oh, actually mind. She took care of herself. very much so <laughs> want to keep the attack node alive. Because um, while the attack node is attacking us, it's very little damage, uh, but if we leave, if we kill it, um, CPU starts doing massive damage and just one shots like three of your characters. It is not good. So one of the things you can do in this fight versus um, other versions is you actually have the ability to dispel. So every time you use a spell on the main CPU, uh, it's going to cast wall on itself. And there, we don't have any spells that will go through wall that won't also attack and kill that attack node, which again, we must keep alive until the main CPU is dead. So we're just going to rinse and repeat of casting Flare and then casting Dispel to get rid of that Reflect and then doing it again. So this is actually a really an even easier fight than it is in the Super Nintendo version. It's a fairly difficult fight in the Super Nintendo version. It's kind of scary, but uh, really not so bad here. Well, I will say, I just recently, like earlier this year, upgraded my computer. I don't think I've ever seen a CPU look like that at, at any store or place where I was looking at buying CPUs. Oh, you haven't gotten this model? No. Oh, it's, it's real good. It comes with my its own attack model. and defense nodes. To save... I want to look into that. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think my I think it'd be a good idea to have an attack and defense node on my CPU. Oh yeah, you have any like uh, pesky roommates? This will handle them. You might want to have some contingency plans though. Yeah. So speaking of that uh <laughs> that massive attack, yeah. I feel like if those nodes go away, it seems. Oh, I very much <gasps> miscalculated. It's fine. Oh. It's fine because we have autosave. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Autosave yep. is good. So yep. oh. the strategy here is we were really at the end of the HP. So just an extra fight, just an extra hit or something would have killed CPU. Unfortunately, uh, things didn't quite go. That's what I died to instead of the four fiends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, at least it was that fight. This is true. This is a little bit faster than dying to Ruby on the four fiends. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And we got to see a mop. You did. We did, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you've blessed us. You've blessed this run and this chat. Someone in chat said, Mop confirmed, run validated. Exactly. Um, okay, good. I'm I'm glad I could at least show you Mop. Yeah, we need All mop. is right with the world. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, usually we have Cecil to do enough extra damage that three flares and, um, and a meteor will usually get rid of it, but... With Cecil being back row, because I am a doof, he did not do enough damage. Yeah. What I feel like Cecil did this whole stream is has not been able to do a lot of damage. <laughs> At least this time it was vaguely not his fault. 
it was less noodle armsy than usual, but yeah. Yeah, sometimes the game just goes, nah, I don't think so, not today. I'm not feeling it today, and you just don't get the attack rolls. That's okay, because we're in charge here. Love flare. It's just, it, yeah, it's just so, it's just so nice to see like the modern day vibe with the spell casting on the 2D, you know, retro feel. Like I just love how that all kind of combines. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it works. Uh, yeah, it really does. The aesthetic works so well, and it just, yeah, it's been a really good upgrade here for all this. Yeah. Also, I want to note that flare, like is such a good spell. Uh, it is reflectable, unfortunately, in terms of this fight, but it costs less MP than uh, Medio, it, and it casts way faster. Mm -hmm. So it's why, when, even in fights where we could be using Medio a lot safer, we just don't, because Medio is not reflectable. Um, so we can use it even if a wall is up. But it is just so... So slow. It is one of the slowest spells, so we just don't. There we go. That's how that was supposed yeah. to go. <laughs> yeah. And First Rosa learned shell. That'll be so useful. Yeah, totally. Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. I thought shell was the best spell in this game. Mm -hmm. Also, be careful about overclocking your computer. That's what could happen to it. Yep. That is true. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. So Fu sees this uh, guy in uh, dark armor and just goes, oh, oh, no, you didn't. Oh, no, you didn't. You come back to yourself, friend. And Golbez is like, oh, oh, hello. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, guess what? Spoiler alert. They're brothers. Cecil and what? Cecil and Golbez are brothers and Fu Soya is actually their uncle. Because it's he is Kluya's brother, and Kluya is their father. So, it's a family reunion! Gasp! Oh, I, Such news! Yeah, Clu Go ahead. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> okay. No, so you have Kluya, Foshuya, Liesel. Yeah, right? <laughs> well, the thing is, is their mother was not Lunarian. That's so, right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, both it's been a while since I played outside yeah. of four, all yeah. the other games. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, hey, look, it's Kane. We can definitely trust him for reals this time, everyone. He would never betray us for the third time. Fourth time? Never. Third, fourth, whatever time. He would never do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's been impossible. so many times we've lost count. I just, I just don't yes, know. Yes, yes. Yeah, exactly. Oh no, our robot exploded. I, I just love how this is set up here. It's like Kane on one side, everyone else on the other. Which, you know what? Fair. <laughs> also, Chad, that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to spoil the plot. We're also about to get some uh, good old-fashioned 90s misogyny. Ugh. Oh, yeah. yeah. There are yeah. definitely some things in here that do not age well. Uh, not as poorly as in some other games, but... Uh, but still not great. Yeah, yeah. so once again, yeah. uh, Rydia and Rosa are being told that they should not come. They have to be protected. Um, you got to get off this airship. You got to get off this whale. Bye! And they're just like, seriously? Seriously, we can help? And they're just like, no, you must be protected. We could never do it if you were hurt. And you're like, okay, calm down. <laughs> I mean, they've napped and they've napped before on this journey. Yeah, right? So yeah, yeah. They're just like, okay, so now we're gonna go to the moon with only these three guys and nothing could possibly go wrong. I remember being a kid and, and getting to this part and being so pissed off. I was so bad. I was just like, you kids, they're my favorites. Yeah, and they're like, okay, let's go be big tough men. We got it. Oops. Oops, we never left. Yeah, so uh, 
And they're like, no, you don't get to take this decision away from me. I want to help and you can't stop me. And Rudy is like, yeah, ha, 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 we didn't leave. And they're just like, okay, <laughs> fine. Let's, let's go save the world together. Rudy is just awesome. Yeah. But I'm glad, you know, glad they're that all happened. Awesome. Yeah, they exactly. are. Yes, yeah. yeah, but Rydia, Rydia is, is the best. Yeah, it's true. She just they're has... All awesome. yeah. They're all awesome, except Edward. Uh, even he has his moments. He is a spoony bar. Yeah, he is a spoony bar. In his See? defense. I really should heal up before I get myself killed here on the moon. Oh, no, you're <laughs> fine. There's nothing that could hurt you here. N no, not, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, there. Yeah, you could. Yeah, just get the wrong fight. All I need to be is ambushed by a couple of behemoths, and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> they would never hurt you. You just tickle their we're, tummies, and they're totally we're totally fine. not under leveled or anything like that no, at all. This is, this is totally normal levels. Wouldn't you just give them like a, a Rosa snack? Rosa, you know? Yeah, Rosa cookie. cookie, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That solves all our problems. That We shouldn't be fighting. We should be giving everyone cookies. Yeah. I'm okay with this. Mm -hmm. I could use some cookies. Same. Cookies would be really nice right now. That's okay. I've got cake upstairs for afterwards. I have Vienna fingers in my fridge, so I do have cookies for later. Ooh. That's exciting. I'm going to have to... Um... Get cookies? Order some. I'm going to have to order some. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> we have faith in you. So here we are to another eight crystals. These are different eight crystals, by the way. These are not the eight crystals from the blue planet. These are, these the are not the crystals, crystals you're looking for. Yeah, these are, yeah, these are not <laughs> the crystals you're looking for. Exactly. And they're like, okay, uh, we know you're here to help. Uh, we're going to unseal uh, the core of the moon uh, where uh, Zemus... The angry Lunarian is uh, sealed, and can you go take care of him for us? Thanks, bye! And so you go to inside. So so earlier we, we were talking about the Avenger sword, mm -hmm. end game, mm -hmm. and now we're saying that they're not the uh, crystals we're looking for. Is Final Fantasy IV Dis a secret Disney IP project? Yes. Yes, okay. Yes. Yeah, when when's our movie, Disney? I, yes, I would like an FF4 movie. Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. That would yes. be that would be so good. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Mm, gold dragons. Gold dragons are actually a lot of good experience. Of course, we're not going to fight them here because this is a speed run. But if you're looking for levels and you're on the moon, mm, elixir. So we're going to pick up some key items here. A few elixirs, an X potion, and some Fuma shurikens down in the. Uh, in the subterrain. Yeah, they're the upgraded Shuriken, and uh, a lot of our characters are not going to stay alive for very long in the final fight for what I feel is obvious reasons, looking at their HP. But <laughs> they are going to get a chance to do some f attacks, and we want to make sure that those attacks are the best as possible. And things like the Fuma Shuriken are not affected by uh, Edge's level. So uh, we definitely want those. Oh, hey, there's a sword off to the side. You should totally go get that. Yeah, <laughs> totally. I totally oh. want to fight a really terrible creature that can just one-shot me. Yeah. Also, <laughs> Even those casually. little murderers, I did not realize they're they're called, uh, I think, tricksters in the Super Nintendo version. Yep. And they're just there, and they don't, they don't do anything, generally speaking, but they just tell you... Oh my god, you should I'm so weak. You uh, I'm so weak to thunder. And if you use thunder on them, they then just start destroying you. I did it once. It actually tricked me once and I was just like, what just happened? So as long as you don't cast any lightning spells on them, you can defeat them and it won't even hit you once. But like you do that lightning even once, even like lightning one and you are done. It's kind of amusing. So we're uh we're farming for pink puffs, right? Yep, totally. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. That 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 would actually be a really good incentive for something is to get the one siren in the giant, and do like one chance at pink puffs. Oh my god. That'd be a great incentive. Yeah, you can buy sirens on the moon, but that would require having enough uh, money. Yeah.
Yeah, since this game first came out, they made getting uh, Pinktail a little bit easier and buying Sirens available, because when it first came out, that was not a thing. Oh, really? Yeah, when I did yeah. it, it was, and I, uh, I may have farmed out, like, four different Pinktails. Every time I got a Pinktail, I was like, maybe I'll get one more. <laughs> And then after four, I was like, well, what happened was, is, yeah, I got two, and I was like, oh, let's just do one more, and I was really going to stop. But I was like, well, let's just use up the MP I have left after I farmed forever and got a third one. And then, like, ten fights later, like, just as my MP was running out, I got a fourth one. I was like, well, if you insist. <laughs> I love that face. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why. It's just, I don't know why. I just always just. It just, it, yeah, it definitely looks, it, it's definitely yeah. really intense. It screams 90s to me. I think yep. that's probably why. Oh, it, oh, it really does. does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's only two behemoths. You're fine. It's totally fine. That's could possibly fine. go wrong. Yeah, for anyone who hasn't tried this remake, uh, as per the name of the the, uh, the hotfix, it is under twenty dollars and it is very good. So, yeah, you. I think can can you still get like all six pixel remasters for like under eighty or something? Yeah, I was gonna say I'm <laughs> fairly certain all of them are under twenty dollars yeah. just permanently now. Oh, nice. Yeah, I bought it. I bought the whole set when you can pre-order them. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't know if that was still a thing, like if they were doing a group for like 75 or 80 bucks, whatever yeah. it was. Yeah, I definitely didn't know the current price, but yeah. How yeah. does someone's breath turn out like that? I was, you know what? I was looking at that and I was like, that that breath is built. Right? <laughs> they got abs for days. Also, uh, Kane comes back with the Gungnir, which is an excellent, one of his best weapons. We, we don't want that, because we could instead use an Avenger. Which one? Oh, uh, whichever your favorite is. There you go. Okay. There you go, chat. <laughs> tell us who's your favorite Avenger. To keep it totally on topic. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I will go off and say Squirrel Girl. Oh, my God. Is she an Avenger currently? I don't know currently. I know at one point she was. Was she? Oh, I love it. She's definitely great. I can't wait for the series to come out. I'm very excited about that series. Because it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> Cast Meteor. I love how fast the text boxes go. I know, yeah. it's so good. Double, Double Meteor all the way. Double Meteor. What does it mean? What does it mean? $17. Yeah, it's so good, this game. It's, it's, I loved everything about it. Well, that fight was pretty simple. Look, we won and I didn't even yeah. have to do anything. See, what do you need levels <laughs> for anyways? <laughs> kind of an anticlimactic um, boss battle there. Hm. Right? Nemus was just a weakling anyways. I don't know why they locked him away. Oh, wait. Womp womp. Womp womp. He had a <laughs> lot of anger, and now it's glowing. Now he gets tall. See, he's evil, so he gets to be tall. Golbez is no longer evil, so he's lost his height. So if you want to be tall, you have to be <laughs> evil. It's the rules. Oh, heck. Yeah, okay. Am I yeah. evil then? You're eviler than me? Oh, wait, this no. logic breaks down. No, no. This logic breaks down. <laughs> I'm, I'm like one of the goodest, if this is our logic. And I hate it. <laughs> no. I am, I am a short. <laughs> so, just so chat knows, I am going to get super duper quiet so I can concentrate on the Zaroma's fight. Yeah, do you need us to be quiet or are you good? I think I'm good. Okay, tell us to be quiet just, if at any I'm point. I'm just going to be ignoring yeah. you mostly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, to quickly summarize before we get into it, in case we do have to stop talking, this is going to become a Kane only fight where we are going to be timing Kane's jumps 
in between the big bangs. So Cain will be off screen when a big bang comes. Um, so he will survive. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> yeah, you heard me. I'm not actually kidding. Uh, I am a thousand percent serious. And it's actually quite so, doable, but uh, it is a little scary at times. I will I will say that if we do have to get quiet, the Zeramus theme is by far one of my favorite boss battle themes. It is a Same. banger. Same. Yes. I love it so much. Also, Zeromus in Final Fantasy XIV, when? Yes, I'm not evil, I'm mad. I'm mad because small. You're absolutely right, Chad. I've been pronouncing it wrong this whole time. Pronouncing what wrong? Zerobus. <laughs> Listen, there's no pr uh, incorrect pronunciation. I don't well, live I was, in that I've camp. I've always been curious about that one because I've heard so many different ways you to pronounce it. You know what? It. There's probably multiple ways to pronounce it. It's like the Cecil Cecil debate. As far as I'm concerned, they're both correct. Pronounce it which way you like. If someone understands what you're saying, it was correct. Yeah. No, no elitism here. Pronounce it how nope. you pronounce it. Yup. <laughs> I love that he appears, the music hasn't even started, and it's just like, Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, so Can queuing I? up the attacks, getting the auto battle going, and that allows us to try and get as many attacks in before uh, Big Bang. Which it hurts. Bye. Yeah, bye. Can I have a, 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 a Zeromus or Zeromus plushie at some point? Oh my gosh. How would you even make that? Because same though, but how? Someone will try. Internet, enter our call. You have been summoned. Yes, it's the <laughs> Titus, uh, Titus uh, debate. And I am, I have my way to pronounce it, but they're both correct. So since we're talking about the internet for a second, I will say, don't forget, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can go to twitch.tv slash games done quick. And if you're interested in taking a look at a live content, it starts weeknights at 7 p.m. Eastern, weekends at 1 p.m. Eastern. And don't forget about that Highlights channel. It's basically a channel that features the highlights of all the GDQ Hotfix shows. Just use the exclamation mark highlights command to learn more about our highlights. And the internet, if someone can make a plushie of this, please. If anyone has found a plushie of it, let us know where it is. <laughs> yes. Also, can we get like our cat jams and such in chat? Like, can we just get some grooves in here into this music? Mm-hmm. It's so good. But yeah, so um, a lot of this fight and the things we're worried about, we're not so worried about here because we have, we're saving a couple of elixirs and such to heal us, but otherwise, we're timing. Though, um, Zeromus has a very strict battle script, and so we know what he's going to do when he's going to do it. Um, he has three different phases. Um, right now, he should still be in phase one, so he's alternating big bangs and black holes. Big bang is murder. Black hole is just nullifies everything. Um, but we don't worry about that because we don't have any effects to dispel. The shake indicates that Big Bang's coming up. It, um, yeah. Um, so we're in phase two now that the flares are coming out. Um, this is, a, he will also counterattack uh, any white or black magic. Um, but since we're in phase two, he's going to be attacking with flare and uh, also virus, or sorry, bio. Um, we'll know we're in phase three when he starts ca uh, casting Medio. This is the only fight where we do not care about Meteor. Meteor does not hurt in comparison to everything else Zeromus is doing. Um, in the Super Nintendo version, um, Zeromus has an automatic health refill uh, because they could not physically program him to have the amount of HP they wanted him to have. So to work around that in the technology of the day, um, once he hit a certain part in his script, he would, uh, and a certain point in his health, he will do a script which uh, does an automatic health refill. Uh, but he only does this once. And uh, it's one of the things in the Super Nintendo version you can uh, actually play with and skip uh, if you do certain things. But um, A, I don't think you can do that in this version. And uh, B, we're just, we're jumping. Why do anything else when we can jump? 
That was a 90s theme. Jump. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm, I'm, wow, it's the only thing I can say for this so far. I'm kind of right? anxious about it, too. The fight is well, and, like, all of the the themes were really well remastered for this. But can, can we just talk about how they possibly managed to make this fight, even uh, this music, even more of a banger? By that, adding in a chorus, too. Yeah, that's what I was going to say with those vocals. Yeah. Oh, so good. Excellent. We're in phase three. Things are still dangerous uh, because Meteor can kill us, considering it's only us. But um, it means we're in the final phase. Zeromus is almost dead. Big bangs are done. It's nothing but Meteors now. Time again, will be on the last hit, by the way. Okay. Yeah, it's we're any time. Time. go. And I got a sub three! Yes! yes. PB! Yes! Woo. So, you know what this I means? Wish. You are no longer making the monsters increase. Sweet! You are free. Congratulations! <laughs> I was looking at the time the whole time. I was just watching the stream looking at the time and I'm like, oh please, oh please, oh please, get that sub three. <sighs> right? <laughs> oh, oh, nicely sub three, too. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Holy nice. Oh, yes. I can, I, now I can breathe. Yes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that was, that was so well done. But like, I think chat can agree how scary that looks and is <clears throat> one miss input, just one and you're done. Yeah. I mean, technically you can, you can grind Kane so that he can withstand one big bang uh, and get away with it, but if you mess up the Meteo phase and yeah. he's not in the air when those Meteos hit, you're done. Yeah, exactly. Because just a couple of those and you're dead, but at least it's not a one-shot. Oh. <laughs> Yay! Oh my gosh, Ooh. look how pretty that background is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for the GGs in chat. And uh, hey, Vesper, you broke my curse because I have been stuck with that sub three since I started running this. <laughs> Heck yeah. Yeah. It's all because we said it at the beginning. <laughs> Final <sighs> Fantasy um, IV heard us and listened. For yes, once. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so happy about that. <laughs> but yeah, um, thank you. Thank you for having us for this hot fix. That was... That was so much fun. I'm so happy right now. Oh my goodness. Yes, thank you. This has been great. <laughs> so if anyone had was watching this and they wanted to know more about it, or maybe someone, because we, we were always tempting there may be extra glitches and stuff like that, and maybe there were glitch hunters. Where would these individuals go in terms of maybe learning about the run, learning about the community? So there is experiment? there is one massive FF4 Discord which has all of the FF4 runs and versions and everything else with a very 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 chill, amazing community. Um, mm -hmm. Natar, you have that Discord link by any chance? I uh, not the Discord link, but if you go to ff 4 accident a e x o d e n dot com, that is our online repository of all the notes and everything. And I believe there is a link to the Discord there. Come hang with us. We run all of the Final Fantasy IV games, all of them. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's super chill. And uh, we're always looking for more people. So come hang with us. Uh, come learn this run. Come learn some of the other runs. If you like glitches, Super Nintendo's waiting for you. And so is that's a great. That's a great run to just get involved in and watch. Uh, if anyone wanted to follow y'all. Um, I'm off for summer break, so I will actually be streaming again. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, we, 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 ha we have some work to do on Legend of Mana. That is my main game, is the Legend of Mana HD remaster. We have some, we have some work to do with Mystic Quest Randomizer. And as I said, yeah. I will be showcasing that for, can I plug it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. We will be showcasing that for Power Up with Pride, Friday evening. And I will have High Spirits actually as my commentator Ooh. that night. Yeah, that'll be super great. And she can be found at twitch.tv forward slash the RPG chick. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Natara when I am live, <laughs> which is occasionally. 
Also, shout out to the Mystic Quest randomizer. Yes. <laughs> oh yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> just, just, I just want to throw that out. It's super fun. I, I but, actually uh, need any to play. other, any other final comments? Any, anything you would like as a whole to say? Any other final shout outs? Anything like that? Um, thank you to uh, the the amazing runners of the FF4 Pixel Remaster. Like I watched Zik 3s run for this and just kind of took notes. Um, there was a bunch of notes floating around from Nikki Noel, who is the most amazing Final Fantasy runner. Because mm -hmm. let's be honest, she runs everything, and her yep. notes are great. <laughs> and she's so good at them. Yes. Um, so. If y'all need any help, if you want to run any Final Fantasy IVs, she's got pretty good notes for them. And FF4 SNES definitely has the best set of everything out there. It's true. Anything else? Final um, the only thing I can think of is there is the Final Fantasy Relay coming up in August, so you might you might see me on commentary there because people are way faster at this than I am. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't I didn't submit anything cuz I was like my times are not fast enough for any version of this game for the relay. <laughs> but good. the duo of us doing commentary again is always a fun time. Ooh, yeah, that could be fun. It was a fun time in, in general. Well, thank you both so very much for all and congrats again on that amazing PB. Thank you. I'm so happy you did it. <laughs> and for everyone in chat, don't worry. While this is over, while we are kind of closing the doors here on the bargain bin, don't worry. Speed runs from the crypt is coming up next. We got some great runs with Silent Hill and Evil Within 2. Stay tuned right here. <laughs>